It's me, Flippy! Look at this giant box! <laughs> yeah, today, Mika and I have some exciting things planned. But it was supposed to meet me here by now. Hmm. Huh, I wonder where Mika went. Hmm. <laughs> Did you hear something? It sounded like a doorbell! <laughs> There's a doorbell. Hmm, let's try to press it. <laughs> I wonder who's home. Hi, I'm Mika. Nice to meet you. And this is my best friend, Blippi. <laughs> and we have work to do. We do? Uh-huh. Have you told them what we're doing today? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Silly me. I kind of forgot. Yeah, we're using everything in these boxes uh -huh. to build an epic, awesome Ooh, fort. Yes. Ooh. Forts are so cool. <laughs> I think a great fort needs three things. A cool way to get in, an awesome way to get out. Yeah, and something unique to make it special. Uh -huh. <laughs> exactly. Ooh, we have to use our creative thinking. How's this floor plan, Blippi? Hmm. You can go through my purple box and get some building ideas. Ooh. Oh, and Mika, you can go through my orange box and get some fun creative ideas too. <laughs> Three, two, one! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, look! <laughs> a PVC pipe? Oh! Ooh, that'll be a fun plastic pipe where we can maybe da, da, hang da, da. something. <laughs> or use it as a trumpet. And, whoa, we can use a this cape. as oh, a superhero cape. <laughs> yeah, super <laughs> or blippy. maybe just the roof. <laughs> well, I think we better get started building this fort. Let's do it! <laughs> working on the door right here, but there's nothing to attach the door to. Whoa! <laughs> so we can build a very fun door frame by stacking up these blocks. Woohoo! <laughs> Woohoo! One door frame post. <laughs> now we just need the other side. And we have finished the other side. We'll just put it right there. Whoop. <laughs> and attach the door. You see? I put some string and some cardboard here with tape so it can swing open on a hinge. <laughs> Check it out, we did it! Woohoo! Look at the door! The front door to our fort! Hey Mika, I finished the door! <gasps> hey Blippi, it looks great! Ha, huh, thanks! Oh, and Mika, did you know that the world's largest doors are at the Kennedy Space Center? Yeah, they're 456 feet tall, or 138 meters. <laughs> Whoa, that's taller than the Statue of Liberty! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> well, I'll see you inside! Okay, I have a surprise for you! Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, Mika, a ball pit? Yes, I made a ball pit for us to splash around in in our fort. Whoa, that sounds like fun. <laughs> I made it out of some plastic pipes, oh. and 
I put a sheet over it, just like this. Whoa, it's looking really great, Nika. You did a good job. Oh, thank you, friend. Whoa. And I have some clips in my jam pack. Clip that together. Clip this over here. <laughs> and then we take some pillows for some nice cushions. Whoa, it's looking really great and nice and soft, so you don't bump your head. <laughs> Would you like to help me with the finishing touches, Blippi? Oh, yeah, I'd love to. Okay. Let's put this last bag of balls in there. Whoa, check it out! <laughs> ball pit balls! Ball okay, pit balls! Here we go! Zip, <laughs> zip, zip! 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 Whoa, whoa! Here we go! <laughs> whoa! <laughs> whoa! Okay, whoa. one last thing to do. Mm, what's that? Jump inside! Whoa! <laughs> whoa! Whoa! <laughs> whoa! Yeah! Whoa! 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 This is fun! <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> well, we've done a really good job making our fort. <laughs> we did. Oh. It looks amazing. Mm -hmm. And it has two of the three things great forts have. Mm -hmm. A cool entrance. That's the door. <laughs> yeah. And something unique. The ball pit. Woo! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> we just need a really fun exit. Oh, I have a great idea. Oh. Wait right here, Blippi. Okay. I'll be back. <laughs> I wonder what Mika's idea is. Hmm. Whoa. Look, I found this in the backyard. Whoa, a ladder? Yes, some stairs for a slide. Whoa, a slide? That would be such a good idea for an exit. Well, well we have the stairs and, and the slide, mm -hmm. and we have some tools to put it all together. Oh, okay, well, let's put it together maybe over there. Okay. Here we go. Whew. Great idea. Time to build. Here you go, <laughs> hammer for you and a hammer for me. Wow, it's looking really great, Mika. Yep. Now we just need to adjust it so it's the exit. Great. Wow, Whoa. that's awesome. Mm. And I think there's only one last thing to do now. Slide? Slide. You can go first. Okay, here you go. Thank you. Okay, here we go. Time to slide. <laughs> Yay. Whee! Whee! Great job, friend. Okay, here I go. <laughs> Whee! Whoa, Mika, that was awesome! That was Whoa. so much fun! We did it! We made our fort so, so <laughs> awesome! And we got all the parts finished. <laughs> Whoa, the only thing left is to dance now. Okay! Dance party! Woo! Now that we built our fort, what should we do? Oh, I know. Let's play some fort games. Whoa, I love <laughs> playing games. Do you think we should play a fort game together? <laughs> yeah, that sounds like fun. <laughs> so what should we play? Uh, oh, how about we play hot and cold? Oh, I like that game. Is that where <laughs> someone hides a dinosaur uh -huh. <laughs> and the other person tries to find it and they get hints that are either hot or cold uh -huh. if they're close or far away. That's exactly <laughs> it, Blippi. <laughs> that sounds like a fun game. Well, who should go first? How about I hide the dinosaur first and you can find him? Okay, okay. I'm gonna go <laughs> out there so you can hide it and then tell me when you're done. Okay, Blippi. <laughs> See you later. Here we go. <laughs> okay, where should we put the dinosaur? Okay, Blippi. <laughs> okay. Well, now we have to find the dinosaur. Okay, I'll look, see where it might be. Hmm. You're cold, just like Antarctica. <laughs> okay, over here. You're still pretty cold. <laughs> Maybe it's over here. Oh, but you're getting warmer. Don't see it over here either. But you're getting kind of <gasps> hot. Whoa. Hot like a volcano. Whoa! Ah! <laughs> Look, I found it! It's our dinosaur! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> okay, Mika. Well, now, how about I hide the dinosaur and you go outside so oh. that I can hide it? Okay, friends! Okay, see ya. <laughs> Whoa, I wonder where we should hide this. Mika was really good at hiding you. Hmm. No, just the place.
Okay, Mika, I'm all done. <laughs> well, let's see if Mika can find the dinosaur. Where'd that dinosaur go? <laughs> okay, you're getting cold, like a cold frozen smoothie. Okay. <laughs> yep, you're still cold like Ooh. ice. Still cold. <laughs> you are as cold as an ice cube. Cold. As cold as a giant, giant refrigerator freezer. Whoa, you're getting warmer. You're getting really warm. Hmm, maybe like a warm, toasty panini. <gasps> oh, <laughs> yum. Whoa, you're getting hot like a bowl of soup. Oh. Or hot like, like lava. lava. Or hot like the sun or a star. Is the dinosaur in here? You're getting really, really hot, but you gotta keep looking. <laughs> okay. Whoa, I think we did a good job. You did a really great okay, job. Okay, cold, warmer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Woo, you got it. This calls for a 10 second dance party. Dance party. Woo, we did it, we did Woo. it. We never ever quit it, Whoa. we did it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, Mika, that was fun. Well, is there another game you think we can play together? Ooh, let's build an obstacle course. Oh, that's a great idea. Mm -hmm. An obstacle course is where you put up different objects. Obstacles. Yeah, obstacles, <laughs> things you might have to climb over or climb under or roll around. Oh, no, and we can time each other. Maybe, Mika, you can grab some blocks. Here. This is gonna be one fun obstacle course. Okay. Whoa! Okay, so here's how it goes. First, you need to walk over the pillow path. Then, roll over this big red tunnel. bumpy block. Yeah, and it's a tunnel, so then go under it, through the couch maze, into the ball pit, and uh -huh. down the slide! <laughs> yeah! Okay, <laughs> I'm ready to time you, Mika. Are okay. you ready? Yep. That go! Oh. <laughs> Whoa, Mika! <Miguel>. Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa. Pop it! Yeah! Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, keep going, Mika! You're so close to the finish line! Whoa! Whoa! Mika, you did it! <laughs> Whoa, you were really fast at that obstacle course. Thanks, Ray. But I think it's my turn now. Okay. There you go. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> it was stuck on my hand. <laughs> All right, let me reset the watch. <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> okay. Okay, on your mark. Get set. Go. Okay. Here, over the over pillow the path. Over the bridge. Whoa. Whoa. You look like a turtle. <laughs> Woo! I'm a fan, Flippy! Wow! Whoa. Go, friend, go! Woo. Okay, now down the slide into the exit! Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> yeah! Oh, well, we did it! Woo! Whoa. That was really, really fun. Really but fun. I think I need a little break from obstacle courses. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> yeah, well, we had so much fun and we built this amazing fort. Yes. Mika, you have such creative ideas. Oh, thank you, Blippi. <laughs> so do you. And I loved learning that the biggest doors are at the Kennedy Space Center. And they're bigger than the Statue of Liberty. Whoa, that's really big. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of our videos, all you have to do is search for my name. <laughs> hey, can you spell my name with us? Okay, here we go. Ready? B L I P P I Blippi. <laughs> Good job. Can you spell my name with us? Great. M E E K A H Mika. Mika. <laughs> well, we'll see you soon. Bye bye. bye Woo yeah. Hey, it's me, Mika. And today I'm at Play Lab in Eagle Rock, California. There's so many different kinds of toys to play with inside. There's even dinosaur toys. <laughs> and my friend Naisha is stopping by to teach us colors in American Sign Language. Let's go. Cool, a train table. 
Have you ever played with toy trains before? They're so fun. <gasps> Look at this one. There's one, two, three, four cars. Hey, and they're sticking together. Check it out. They're magnetic, meaning they attract to each other. See, they stick together. Whoa, look at the wheels. Let's see the colors on top of here. We have orange, black, red, and red. All right, Conductor Mika is ready to take this train on a trip. All aboard! All right, guess it's time for me to keep playing. See you later, train. <laughs> Let's go over here. This is a cool room to play in. Hey. Hello? Hi, Grandma. Uh-huh. Oh, I'm just playing with my friends. Yeah, yeah. Can I call you back? Okay, bye, Grandma. <laughs> oh, and look, there's little babies in here. Oh, it's so cute. Hi, baby. Oh, what? Oh, it's nap time. Shh, sorry. Hey, I wonder if I could climb up here. It's kind of small, do you think I'll fit? All right, I'll try it. Hello, up here. Hi. <laughs> Hello. Oh, it looks like I'm on a bridge. Oh, and there's a little slide. Three, two, one. Whoa. <laughs> what? Using dinosaurs? Oh, I love dinosaurs. Whoa, these are really cool. Look at this one. See the plates on the back? Oh, that means hello. <laughs> Whoa, and this one has a crest. You know, a lot of dinosaurs that have a crest like this, instead of roaring, they would kind of sound like honk. Honk, <laughs> honk, honk. Whoa, this one has some sharp teeth in there. Ooh, very cool. And this one has wings so we can fly. Whoa, these dinosaur toys are so cool. My favorite dinosaur is the T-Rex. I wonder if they have a T-Rex here. It's not that one. Not this one with the long neck. T-Rexes don't have long necks. Oh, here it is, the T-Rex. Hi, Mika. Hey, T-Rex, how are you? I'm fine, I wanna go down the slide. Oh, you have to ask nicely. Can I go down the slide, please? Oh, sure, here we go. All right, are you ready? Three, two, one. What's wrong? Oh, he's a little bit nervous. Let's just say, you can do it. You got this. Okay. You can do this. You got this. Come on, T-Rex. Yeah, you did it. Oh, I'm so proud of you. Thank you. <laughs> Aw, that was fun. Oh, look at these blocks. They're soft and squishy. Hmm, maybe we could build a tower. See if I could build a tower as tall as me. Whoa. Okay. I have to get even taller than that. Oh, have to have really good balance blocks. Oh no. Come on. Taller, taller. It has to be taller. We gotta make the blocks even taller and taller. Come on, blocks, taller and no! <laughs> That's okay. Let me clean up real fast. <laughs> Hi, Naisha. Oh, 
Who's your friend? This is my friend who's an interpreter. Her name is Rory. Oh, hi, Rory. I'm Mika. Hi, Mika. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. So Rory's an interpreter, so she's going to help us communicate, which is good because I only know a little bit of sign language. And I'm so excited that you are both here so that we can learn some colors in American Sign Language. All right. Yes, we can. So let's start with, ooh, what about this balloon? Do you know what color this is? It's orange. So how do we say orange in American Sign Language? Like this? Okay, are you doing it? Orange. Good job. Cool, all right, that orange. <laughs> Ooh, what about this one? It's one of my favorite colors. Do you know what it is? Purple, that's right. So how would we say purple? Oh, the letter P, right? Purple. Yeah, because P is the first letter in the word purple. I got it, cool. Bye purple. Oh, do you know what color this balloon is? It's pink, good job. Okay, so how would we say pink? So the letter P again, and then you hit your chin like this, pink. Good job. All right, bye pink. Ooh, what about this little balloon? Do you know what color this is? It's blue. Ooh, like my fingernails. <laughs> How do we say blue in American Sign Language? Okay, so the letter B and then kind of wave it like that. Cool, are you trying it? Good job, blue. Bye, blue. And this balloon is what color? Red, nice. So how would we say red? Okay, so you take one finger and you rub your chin like this, red. <laughs> nice, bye red. Oh yes, another one of my favorite colors. Do you know what it is? Yellow. Okay, how do we say yellow in American Sign Language? Okay, so like the letter Y and then wave it. Can you do that? Yellow, good job, bye yellow. Wow, thank you so much for teaching us how to say those colors in American Sign Language. It's great to see you and to be able to teach you. Oh, it's good to see you too and really nice meeting you, Rory. All right, I'm gonna keep playing inside but I hope to see you two later, <laughs> bye. toys in here. A helicopter. <laughs> oh, look, a little car. Uh-oh, it needs a driver. Oh, I can drive. Oh, you can? Can I see your driver's license? Whoop, looks like you. Yep, okay, get on in. All right, enjoy the ride. Vroom. Whoa, whoa, hey, slow down. See a red circle. Oh, hi! <laughs> nice smile. <laughs> and see what's under the orange one. Oh, another friend! Hello! And another orange. <gasps> hi! Oh, cool blue glasses. And let's look under this yellow one. Oh, hi! <laughs> and let's look under this other yellow one. Oh! Hello! <laughs> I didn't know there were gonna be friends in there. Oh, cool! Check out these shapes! It looks like this one's missing, but we could start with this circle. All right, let's go right there. And, oh, a triangle. All right, see you later, triangle. Do you know what this is? It has one, two, three, four, five sides. That's a pentagon. 
All right, later, Pentagon. And this is a trapezoid. Yeah, very cool shape. Go in there. Yeah, they all fit. Nice. Whoa, look at these colorful blocks. Let's check them out together. Hmm, let's see. I like this blue one and purple. Hmm, yellow or is this orange? This one's more like yellow, right? Yeah, orange, yellow, pink, and red. Wait a second. These are the colors that we learned with Naisha, remember? American Sign Language? Let's see if we can remember, okay? Do you remember how to say red? Red. Yeah, good job. What about pink? Do you remember how to sign pink? Pink. Pink. Good job. Ooh, what about yellow? I really like this one. Yellow. Remember? <laughs> and orange. Orange is yeah, orange. And purple, one of my favorites. Remember? Purple. Good job. And what about blue? Yeah, make the letter B. Blue. Good job. That was so fun learning that today. <laughs> hey, I had so much fun playing with you today at Play Lab. There's so many different toys inside. We got to play with trains and dinosaurs <laughs> and blocks. And my friend Naisha taught us some colors and American Sign Language. Wasn't that so cool? Thanks for learning with me. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Great. <laughs> M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika, okay friends, bye. Hey everyone, it's me, Mika. And today I'm at Sky Zone Trampoline Park in Anaheim, California. And I'm so excited because guess what's inside? Trampolines. Have you ever been on a trampoline before? They're so fun, you can jump and bounce really, really high. Have you ever wondered what makes something bounce? <laughs> Me too. Let's go inside and find out. Come on. Hello. Hi, how are you? I'm good, I'm Mika. I'm Quincy, it's nice to meet you, Mika. Hey Quincy, nice to meet you too. Ah, so, what can I do for you today, Mika? Well, I really want to play on some things that are bouncy and I hear there are a lot of trampolines here. Oh, we have so many trampolines here today. Nice. But first, we have to pick from an assortment of wristbands. Whoa, look at all of these colors. I see orange, green, yellow, red, blue, and pink. Hmm, I think I'm gonna choose the yellow one. Mm -hmm. It's one of my favorite colors. I got you right here, Mika. Okay. Thank you. Ooh. <laughs> What else do I need? And next you get to pick between these two socks right here. Whoa, check out these socks. They have grips on the bottom. Why are there grips on these socks? There's grips on the socks just to prevent you from slipping on the bouncy trampolines. Oh, good idea. Oh, and there's also blue and black and pink socks. I think I'm gonna go with the orange. These are super cool. So I have my wristband and my socks. And I know that there are trampolines here, but is there anything else that you have that's really bouncy? It's funny that you ask. I got a whole picture of bouncy balls right here. Whoa, look at this. There's so many. <gasps> this will be the perfect way to experiment with why and how things bounce. Thanks, yes, Quincy. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> it's so much fun to bounce. Whoa. <laughs> Wow, have you ever bounced on a trampoline before? It's so fun. And check this out. You push down on a trampoline like this. See how it goes down? But if you don't do anything, it goes back to being flat. That's called elasticity. <laughs> 
And that's what makes it so fun to bounce on a trampoline. <laughs> wow, let's check out all of these different kinds of balls and see how they bounce. All right, let's see, we have a squishy orange ball here. Whoa! And look at this one. It's orange too, but it's smaller. Kind of looks like a ball pit ball. Oh, it's nice and light. I wonder how this one bounces. Oh, see ya! <laughs> Woo! I love these. They're bouncy balls. <laughs> this is a nice green. Okay, ready? Oh, yeah, let me try again. <laughs> Here's another bouncy ball. Whoa! Nice job, bouncy ball! <laughs> Let's see what happens if we bounce the balls and I bounce at the same time! Woo! <laughs> hey! This woo, seems like a really fun space to play a game where you can bounce and throw these balls. Huh. If only I had some friends to play a game with. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey! Do you want to play a game with me? I would love to, Mika. Oh, awesome! But I got a friend with me as well. Oh, hey! This is Priscilla. Hi. Hi, Priscilla. I'm Mika. Nice to meet you. So, do you want to play a little catch on these trampolines would, and with these bouncy balls? I would love to play some catch, Mika. Okay. Yeah, me too. Oh, let's do it. Everyone grab a ball. Get one over here. Oh, I know. What if we threw and caught the ball? So we can throw to each other and catch at the same time. Make like sense? That. I like that idea. I like okay, that. let's count to three. All right, ready? One, two, three. Whoa, we did it, nice. Can we do it again? Yes. All right, one, two, three. <laughs> awesome. One, two, three. Nice. Awesome. Ooh, I'm feeling nice and warm now. Me too. Oh, what else can we play? We could play dodgeball. Ooh, dodgeball. How do you play dodgeball? Dodgeball is very simple. Hit or be hit. Oh, hit or be hit. <laughs> I'm a little nervous. Don't be nervous. It's real simple. All you got to do is duck, dodge, and throw the ball. Oh, I got you. That okay, so we're going to try and throw the ball to hit the other people, but you don't want to get hit. You want to dodge and get out of the way, right? Exactly. Okay, I'm feeling ready. Are you? I think so. I hope you're ready. <laughs> All right, let's go! Of course, Mika. Thank you for having us. Yeah, this was so fun. So much fun. <laughs> Woo! See you later. So, we learned that things bounce because of elasticity. Woo! And it's really important to get our bodies warmed up and stretched really good so we can be stretchy and bendy like elastic so we don't get hurt. And I really want to try an obstacle course 
So can you help me stretch and move my body so I can get warmed up and ready to go? Yes, of course. Let's okay. get ready for this obstacle course. <laughs> okay. Alrighty, so the first exercise we're gonna do, we're gonna put our arms like this. Okay. And you're gonna do a nice twist. Nice twist. All right, we're gonna switch arms again. Okay. Another big twist. Perfect. Okay, now we're gonna reach for the floor. Whoa. Whoa. And we're gonna hold it for three seconds. All right, one, one two. two. Three. Perfect. <laughs> Another big stretch. Whoa. Ready? One, One two, two, three. Perfect. Do you have Ooh. any other stretches that we could do? Hmm. Yeah. How about we grab our foot? You have to have really good balance and stretch your leg Ooh. that way. All right. <laughs> like Ooh. flamingos. Exactly. <laughs> All right. Try your other foot. All right. The other one. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> it's a little wobbly on this Whoa. one. Okay, perfect. Ooh, my legs feel nice and warm. Ready? My arms are stretched out. I think I'm ready for the obstacle course. All right, perfect. I hope you have fun. Thank you so much. All right. See you soon. See ya. cool construction toys here like excavators and conveyor belts. Oh, I'm going to pretend to be a construction worker. But first things first, safety first. I'll put on my hat and my safety vest. 
Will you pretend to be a construction worker with me? Great, come on. <laughs> I'm at my first construction vehicle. Can you guess what it is? <laughs> I'll give you some hints. It has two arms and a bucket. <laughs> That's right, it's a front loader. <gasps> Check it out. <gasps> okay, let's see how it works. <gasps> oh, start engine. Start. <gasps> wow. <laughs> let's honk the horn. Put it in drives. Now reverse. Back it up. Pardon me. <laughs> oh. Gotta turn on my lights. And check out these pedals. Let's park. <laughs> that was awesome. Ooh, and look at these big tires. Black and yellow. One of my favorite colors. Oh, let's see what this does. Spin, spin, spin. Whoa. We can roll it around. This is a big circle. Easier for rolling. <laughs> and these are called treads. They help the wheel get traction. <laughs> and check this out over here. Oh, wow! It's like a construction site. <laughs> and there are three construction vehicles. Red, green, and blue. Oh, and it's a puzzle. The goal is to get each car to its sight. This one is for the blue car. Okay, let's see if we can get it over. Hmm. Da, da, da. Hmm, best way to get there. Excuse me, Red. Da, da, da. Oh, I have to go up there. Excuse me, Red. You go down there. Da, da, da. <laughs> we made it. Okay, let's try for Red. <laughs> da, da, da. Which way will we go? Huh? No, that's not the right way. <laughs> da, da, da. <gasps> we made it. Okay, one more vehicle to go. Da, 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 da. <gasps> We did it! We matched all the vehicles! That was so awesome! Oh, check it out! I see something cool over there! Let's go! Whoa! Check out this building! It's pretty tall! Oh, and it has a lot of great shapes! Do you know what this shape is? That's right! A triangle! And this shape? Circle, great job. Put this triangle on top. Make sure everything's nice and tight. <gasps> hey, let's use this pipe wrench to make sure everything is tight. Nice and tight. <laughs> great. I have another wrench in my jam pack. This one's called a crescent wrench because of the shape on top. <laughs> it kind of looks like a moon in the sky. <laughs> okay, let's take our tools and see what needs fixing over here. Whoa, check out these big blue buildings behind me. Woo <laughs> so tall. Hey, let's make an M together. Oh, and look the perfect shape for that. Don't they look like rainbow arches? <laughs> yeah, okay. Oh, awesome. 
Now I have a second rainbow arch. <laughs> wow! An M for Mika. <laughs> Job well done. Okay, our project is constructed and finished. On to the next one. We made it to the cement truck. Mix it up, mix, mix it up. Mix it up, mix, mix it up. Wow. Whoa. Whoa. Hey, this looks like a hamster wheel. That's a wheel that little hamsters and other animals use to run around and get their exercise in. But in construction, this wheel is used to mix cement. It turns it around and around and around, mixing it all together. Should we try it? Should we be cement that gets mixed and mixed and mixed together? <laughs> yeah, let's give it a try. made me a little dizzy. Whoa. Spin, spin, spin like a cement truck. Spin, spin, spin like a cement truck. <laughs> I saw a lot more cool things to do here while I was spinning. Come on, let's go learn more about construction vehicles. Beep, beep, beep. Burr. <gasps> we made it to our next construction vehicle. Can you guess what it is? I'll give you some clues. It has an arm and a boom and a bucket. That's right, it's an excavator. <laughs> Excavators are used to dig things up. Sometimes it's dirt, but this excavator digs up balls. Okay, we have to stay out of the construction zone, okay? Oh, here it goes. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> awesome. Let's try it again. We dug up a lot. Our job here is done. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Look, it's a conveyor belt. A conveyor belt helps construction workers move things from one spot to another so that they don't have to carry them. <laughs> Great. Oh, and look, check it out. Look at all these bricks. <laughs> They're rectangular. See the shape? <laughs> and do you know this color? <laughs> yeah, brown. Oh, and there's another shape too. Can you see it? <laughs> right, circles. Let's count the circles. One, two, Three, great job. Mmm, <gasps> this kinda reminds me of chocolate. Let's pretend that these are chocolate pieces and we want to move them way up there. Come on, let's check it out. Okay, let's put them on the conveyor belt. Mm-hmm, great. Ready, little chocolates? <laughs> turn, turn, turn. Whoa! Wow! I have to keep turning, have to keep turning. <laughs> Whoa, let's get them all the way to the top. There they go! <laughs> yeah! 
Okay, now we're at the top. At the bottom, we put the chocolate bricks onto the conveyor belt and we turn the wheel, turn the wheel, turn the wheel until they went all the way to the top. And look, this is where they landed. Oh, more bricks are coming. Check it out. Oh, whoa. <laughs> that is so cool. <laughs> okay, now I'm ready to go down the slide. I'll see you at the bottom. Woo! Woo! <laughs> yeah! That was so much fun. Whoa! What's this? Hmm. Kind of looks like a bucket. Oh! Check it out! When I pull this one down, that one goes higher. Oh! It's a pulley system. It helps get things from one place to another just like a conveyor belt does. <laughs> Maybe I can send my friends some lunch at the top. <laughs> but since I don't have lunch, let's see what I have in my jam pack. Oh, look, a little construction vehicle. Let's put it in the bucket and send it up. <laughs> Ready? Here you go. <laughs> Let's put something in this bucket, too. Let's see what I have in my jam pack. A tiger! Are you ready? <laughs> ready? In you go! Have fun! Woo! <laughs> wow! Now the tiger is going up high! And now it's coming down low! Now it's going up high! And look! Our construction vehicle is on the other side. Wow, being a construction worker is a lot of fun. Okay, let's drive away. Wow, a tractor race. Since I'm all done with my construction work, let's go on a tractor ride. Whoa, 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 in my big tractor. Go, 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 in my big tractor. Beep, beep, backing it up. Vroom! Whoa, that was so much fun. <laughs> Thank you so much for being a construction worker with me today. We rode a big front loader, and we pretended to be cement, mixing around in a cement mixer. Then we used the little excavator to dig up a ball pit. Oh, whoa, we did a lot today. Now it's time to hang up my vest and roll on out of here. Well, that's the end of this video. But if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Can you spell my name with me? M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. <laughs> okay, bye-bye. See you later. Hi, it's me, Mika. And today I'm at the American Museum of Natural History in New York City. Do you know what's inside of this museum? All different kinds of animals and dinosaurs. And I heard that they have one of my favorite dinosaurs, a T-Rex. Do you know what a T-Rex looks like? I have one in my jam pack. Whoa, here it is. <laughs> hey, will you come with me and see if we can find a T-Rex inside? Let's go. Whoa, I'm inside of the museum. I can't wait to find the T-Rex. Whoa. <laughs> That is definitely not the T-Rex. Do you know what that is? It's a blue whale. Oh, and look, I see a bandage on that whale. <laughs> Even whales get boo-boos. <laughs> Did you know that the blue whale is the biggest animal on the planet? <laughs> it's so cool. <laughs> oh, I see someone over there who works at the museum. I bet they have more whale facts. Come on. Oh, hi. 
Hello. I'm Mika. What's your name? Alexandra. Hi, Alexandra. So I bet you know something about the blue whale. Yes. You do. What do you do here? I'm an educator. Oh, an educator. So yeah, you definitely know. Um, what do blue whales eat? Blue whales eat tiny krill. Whoa! Look at these tiny shrimps. Can you believe a big blue whale likes to eat these tiny little shrimps? <laughs> <laughs> Wow, well, do blue whales have teeth like us? No, they don't have teeth. They have baleen. Baleen? Oh, whoa. Whales like straw. Can you imagine if you had straw in your mouth instead of teeth? Ugh. <laughs> so how do they eat? They open up their mouth. Okay. Very, very big. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. They take a cup of water, <gasps> put krill in it. Mm -hmm. Then they push the water out with their tongue. And what's inside? The mm. Mm. Oh, that seems really complicated. <laughs> that is not how I eat at all. Wow. And what is that? It looks like a big bone. This is a part of the, well, vertebra. The vertebrae. Well, mm. we have those. You can feel it in your back. Yeah. Can I hold it? Yes, sure. Whoa. Oh, this is so heavy. Look how big this is. Ours are so tiny. Blue whales are huge. <laughs> okay, here, I'll give that back to you. Yeah. Wow, well, thanks for sharing those facts with us. I'm gonna keep exploring, but maybe I'll see you later. See you later. All right, awesome, <laughs> come on. Where is the T-Rex? Where, where is the T-Rex? Whoa. That is not the T-Rex, but it is a very large mammal. Do you know what it is? It's a walrus. <laughs> Not a real walrus, this is just a model. But this looks pretty much exactly like a real walrus. Whoa, do you see those big tusks? They're made out of ivory and they're really strong and really sharp. And that one looks like the size of my arm, maybe even bigger. Look, can you imagine if you had something that big hanging out of your mouth? Could you even find a toothpick big enough to clean that thing? <laughs> They can use them when they're in the water to poke into the ice and pull their bodies up. Very helpful. <laughs> Will you act like a walrus with me? Okay, get your tusk out. <clears throat> Let's keep looking for the T-Rex. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Walrus out. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh, you're so funny. That's why you're my favorite. That is why you are my favorite dinosaur. <laughs> oh, hey. I'm still trying to find the T-Rex, but I don't see any dinosaurs anywhere. <laughs> Let's keep looking over here. Maybe we can find something. <gasps> Whoa, gorillas. <gasps> gorillas are super cool. They're really big, they're really strong, they're hairy. They can stand up tall just like humans. But the male gorilla is 10 times stronger than a human. That's Pretty strong. <laughs> Will you act like a gorilla with me? All right, let me see your muscles. Pound your chest. Let's keep looking for more animals. Whoa, yeah, I feel strong just acting like a gorilla. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. See in the back there? A giraffe. Giraffes are so tall. They can get up to 18 feet tall. That's Really, 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 really tall. And they have super long black tongues. Isn't that cool? <laughs> Do you know what that animal is? That's right, a zebra. Zebras are awesome. They have black and white stripes and a group of zebras is called a dazzle. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Check out that dazzle of zebra over there. <laughs> They run super fast and they can run in zigzags. Will you zigzag with me? All right, let's go. Run in zigzag. <laughs> Whoa, elephants are so big, so they have to eat a lot of food. Actually, most of their day is filled with eating. They're herbivores, so they're vegetarians. They don't eat meat. Oh, and look, big tusks, just like those walruses. <laughs> hey, will you act like an elephant with me? Get your trunk out. Ready? <laughs> 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 
Maybe you can stomp like an elephant. <laughs> hey, these really big cats are lions. I love lions because they have really big roars. Kind of like the T-Rex. <laughs> See that one with the mane, all of the hair? That's a male lion. That's how you know, because it has a mane. The other lions that don't have manes are females. And a group of lions is called a pride. <laughs> I still don't see any dinosaurs though. Will you keep looking with me? All right, come on. <gasps> wow, we're in the dinosaur room. There has to be a T-Rex here, right? <sighs> that means yes. <laughs> Let's keep looking. Oh, there's a dinosaur over there. Ah, oh, long tail, lots of teeth, but that's pretty small. A T-Rex is way bigger than that dinosaur. It's almost as little as this toy dinosaur. Hello. <laughs> hmm. Oh, look at this dinosaur. Whoa, it has a long neck. Its head is going back really far. Oh, I wonder if it's a dancing. <laughs> nice moves, but not a T-Rex. Hmm. I can't see the T-Rex anywhere. Do you see a T-Rex? Looks like this, big head, so many teeth, really big talons. <sighs> my favorite dinosaur. Whoa, look how big the head is. See those big jaws with tons of teeth? Wow, they're so sharp and there's so many of them. Did you know that the T-Rex could have up to 50 to 60 teeth in its mouth? That's a lot of teeth. <laughs> Whoa, you can see the whole body of the T-Rex. The head, the ribs, the big legs, the big feet. Roar! Roar! Oh, hello. Hi. Hi, I'm Mika. What's your name? Hi, my name is Alana. Hi, Alana. What do you do here? I'm a museum educator. Whoa, a museum educator. So you must know a lot about dinosaurs. I do. Oh, cool. Well, I'm really excited because my favorite dinosaur is the T-Rex. I really like the T-Rex also. Oh, yeah? Well, yeah. what's one of the reasons you love the T-Rex? I like the T-Rex because it was one of the biggest predators. Wow, I know. It's very cool. The T-Rex is huge, has a really big head and legs and a really big tail. You know, they use that big tail to help them balance. Oh yeah, that's right, because their heads are really heavy, right? Really big heads. Yeah, so the tail helps them balance. Like that. You know what else <laughs> I like about the T-Rex? What? Look at this big foot here. Whoa, is this a real foot of a T-Rex? This is a model. Okay, okay. But this is like an exact replica. Yeah, you can see how big it was. Whoa, am I allowed to touch it? You can touch it. Okay. Wow, look at these toenails. <laughs> They're so big and pointy. So they had three big toes uh -huh. on their back foot. You know what else I like about the T-Rex? What? How big their teeth were. Oh yeah, they have really big teeth. Look at this. <gasps> Whoa, look how big this tooth is. This is a model of a real T-Rex tooth. Wow, can you imagine if your teeth were this big? Look, is it the same? <laughs> That's really big. What do you think they might have liked to eat with a tooth this big? Oh, probably meat, yeah. right? They were carnivores. Oh, so they were meat eaters. Cool. Right. And what's this? It looks like a big rock. It is a rock, except it's a very special rock. Oh, why? This is a fossil of a dinosaur bone. A real dinosaur a bone? A real dinosaur bone. Would you like to touch it? Yes, please. It's heavy. Okay. Well, let's see. Let's see. Okay. All right. It's a little heavy, but it's a real fossil of a dinosaur bone. That's amazing. And what part of the dinosaur is this? That was from their leg or their thigh bone. Oh, so like <laughs> down here. Right there. Wow, that's amazing. Thanks for sharing this with me. Yeah. So is the T-Rex the biggest dinosaur? It wasn't the biggest dinosaur, but this museum has a model 
of one of the biggest dinosaurs. What? Can we see it? You want to go see it? Yeah. Let's go. All right, come on. Wow. Whoa, it's so big. Whoa. It keeps going and going and going. <laughs> this is called a titanosaur. Titanosaur, wow, it's really cool. So the titanosaur family was a group of dinosaurs that were sauropods and herbivores. Oh, I know what a sauropod is. That means it walked on four feet. That's right. Ooh. <laughs> and an herbivore means that it was a plant eater. That's right. Yeah, very neat. Now this titanosaur is over 120 feet long. Whoa, or 37 meters. <laughs> That's and, really long. And it weighed almost as much as 10 elephants. Whoa, 10 elephants. That's very, very heavy. Wow. But you know what's cool about this one? This one was just a juvenile, which means it's kind of like a teenager. Whoa, so it's not even fully grown? It gets bigger than this? It does. Wow, that's incredible. Thank you so much for showing me, showing me this titanosaur. I had fun with you. I have to go teach a class. Oh, but I'll see you soon. Okay, see ya, thanks again. Wow, what a fun day. We got to see so many cool animals like that big blue whale and walruses and lions. And we got to see my favorite dinosaur of all time, the T-Rex. <laughs> Did you have a fun day? <laughs> Me too. Well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to have more fun and see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool. M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. <laughs> all right, we'll see you next time. <laughs> hey, it's me, Mika. And today I'm at the Intrepid Museum in New York City. Check it out. The Intrepid is so big. It's an aircraft carrier that can have airplanes land on it. That's how big it is. <laughs> Let's go inside and explore. Come on. Check it out. We're at the Concorde. This is one of the very first supersonic airplanes. Do you know what that means? That means that this plane goes faster than the speed of sound. We get to go inside and check it out. Come on. I got you. There you go. You can get it after. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> Oh, you wanna, oh yeah, of course, yes. Oh, oh can you just, mm -hmm. thank you. Oh, hi, I'm Mika, your flight attendant on Supersonic Airlines. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just Mika, I'm just playing. <laughs> this plane is so cool. Check out the seats. Ooh, can rest your arm and just relax on your flight. <laughs> Did you know that this plane holds the world record for fastest flight from New York to London? <laughs> it got to London in under three hours. That's really, 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 really fast. <laughs> hey, wanna go check out the cockpit? Let's go. Hi, I'm First Officer Mika. <laughs> A first officer assists the pilot. But there's no pilot. Hmm, let's see. Let me just give a little call here. Hello? Hi, yes, it's First Officer Mika, and we don't have a pilot. Mm-hmm. No, I'm looking right now, there's no pilot. Okay, thank you so much. <laughs> oh, this is so cool to be in the cockpit. There's so many different buttons and controls, and this is the steering wheel. It controls the wings of the airplane. Oh, look at all of these circles. See? There's a lot. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, this, it says visor nose. This controls the nose of the airplane. It can either go down or it can go up. You have to know a lot to fly a plane. What else? Oh, see the wheel button? The wheels, make sure you go in for a nice smooth landing. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Whoa, what else is in here? Whoa, all these little numbers look like something you'd see on a telephone. Ooh, and this is the throttle. 
This is how you can go fast or slow. So you wanna go so fast, you wanna go so slow. <laughs> hmm. Wow. I wonder how long it takes to learn what all of these buttons and controls do. Ooh. Ooh. Can we just get ready here? Are you ready to fly with me? Awesome, let's count down together. Three, two, one, fly! Woo, let's go even faster. Woo-hoo! Here we are on the flight deck. This place is amazing. We're up high, we can see a lot of the New York City skyline. And look at these amazing planes. This is where planes would take off and where they would land but it's actually not long enough, so they would use a device to catapult planes into the sky. Isn't that so cool? <laughs> Whoa, look at that plane. Oh, I see a helicopter. Oh, they're just hanging out on the flight deck. That's where the planes hang, and they have these beautiful views. <laughs> what? There's someone on one of the planes? <gasps> You're right. Hi! Let's go get a closer look. Hey! Hi, come on up. Thank you. Whoa! Hi, I'm Mika. Hi, Mika. I'm Jen. Hi, Jen. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So what do you do here? So I am a museum educator, which means that I teach all kinds of people, students, children, adults, coming into the museum. Awesome. So you must know a lot about planes. I do. Well, if I'm in the front here, does that mean that I'm the pilot? You are a pilot, but you are still learning how to be a pilot. So you're technically a student driver. Oh, okay. So then would you be the pilot or the instructor? I would be the instructor. So I would be back here and I could take control of the plane if I needed to. Oh, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. I really like the look of this plane. I love the colors. I can see red and white and blue. Absolutely, the red, white, and blue let other planes know that this is an American airplane. And also the red and white, they're high visibility. So it lets people know that you're still learning how to be a pilot. Oh, that's a great idea. Mm -hmm. Well, it's so cool that I get to be inside of this airplane. Yeah. <laughs> would you like to go inside of a helicopter? Yes, I would. All right, uh, let's go. Okay, let's go. Wow. This is amazing. Yeah. So this is our Sea Guardian helicopter. It was used by the Coast Guard to help rescue people out in the ocean. Wow, that's super important. Absolutely. And you'll notice here we have pontoons, one pontoons. here and one on the other side. And then the shape of the front of the helicopter matches that of a boat so yeah. that it can land directly on the water. Whoa, this helicopter can land on water? Absolutely, That's it can. really cool. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. You're also gonna notice that we've got colors. We've got red and white, similar to the Mentor that we were just in. Yeah, I was just gonna say, we were just in a red and white plane. Yeah, so same colors, both so that they can be high visibility so people notice them, but fit different reasons. The Mentor over there is high visibility so people stay away from you because you're right. learning, new, new learning to drive. Uh -huh. And this one is high visibility so that people know to flag you down so that you can help them. Oh, that makes Absolutely. sense. Absolutely. Wow, what a helpful and useful helicopter. Yeah, in fact, the way it helps people, you'll notice the hook right up here. There's a basket inside. We could connect to that hook to lower down into the water. Wow, yeah, let's go see what the basket looks Absolutely. like. Absolutely, come on in. Okay. Oh, look, it looks like a giant basket you would use to get groceries. Yeah, you need it to fit people in there, so it needs to be a big basket. Yeah, it is mm -hmm. really big. Mm -hmm. Wow, this is so cool. Thanks for showing me. Yeah, you can see the hole right here that would connect to the hook. Oh, yeah. And we even have some floats on either side of the basket to help it float when it drops down into the water. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Well, before you let me pretend to fly the airplane, did I pretend to fly this helicopter? Absolutely, let's go. Yes, let's do it! Check out the cockpit in this helicopter! Yeah, all kinds of different controls in here. Yeah, there's a lot going on. I see a lot of circles and buttons and knobs. Absolutely. But the three things that you're going to use to really steer this, mm -hmm. you have your pedals yeah. down on the floor, okay. just like you would in a car. You have your joystick right here oh, that's going to... You have one too. I have one too. All right. And then you have this control right here, which lifts up and down to help lift the helicopter up and down. Whoa, so you use your feet on the pedals, 
You hold on to this, what did you call it? Joystick. Joystick, and you have this controller too? Absolutely, you're That's doing a lot. lot. <laughs> that seems like a really hard job. It is, it's really complicated. Wow. <laughs> yep. And then when you want to land, we have landing gear, just like we would on a plane. So that control is oh. right here. Yeah, I'm gonna see flip it. it up. Now, you're not always going to have the landing gear down for this one because remember it lands on the water. So oh, we're not right. gonna use our wheels when we're landing on the water. Oh, so we don't even need that? Not all not the time. If we're landing not on water. if we're landing on water, absolutely. Oh, cool. And then yeah. I've seen this before in a car, parking brake. Yep, so that does help when you're on land to just make sure it doesn't go rolling away anywhere. Wow, very smart. Absolutely. Oh, I feel like an official helicopter flyer. <laughs> you're doing great. <laughs> hey, well, we'll see you soon. Jen and I have a big landing coming up. Are you ready? Yeah, let's, let's land do this. this yes. Woo! Oh, cool. This looks like a map of the Intrepid. Yeah, you can see the entire length of the ship. It is as long as three football fields lined up end to end. Whoa, that is really, really long. We did some serious walking today. Definitely, a lot of exercise, a lot of steps. Wow, well, I'm gonna keep exploring, but it was so nice meeting you, Jen, and thank you for showing me all of this. Absolutely, it was nice showing you around and have fun. Oh, thanks. See ya. Bye. Let's go. Hey, look behind me. It's the Intrepid. Well, it's a model of the Intrepid made out of Legos. Isn't that cool? Let's get a closer look. Whoa, this is amazing. There's so much to look at. Oh, I see people, workers and helpers. You know, you can know what kind of job someone has based off of the color of their uniform. So, oh. Like right here, brown. And see, this person's wearing brown too. They are pilots. And oh, this friend right here in green. <laughs> and there's another one. If you're wearing green, you help direct the planes. You help with takeoff and landing. Oh. Oh, look at these two. These are two officers. Hello, officer. Hello, officer. Good to see you. <laughs> Old friends. <laughs> Let's keep looking. Oh, hello. <laughs> <gasps> These two people are wearing purple. One of my favorite colors. They have really cool jobs. They refuel the planes or they juice up the planes. And because they wear purple and they juice up the planes, they have really cool nicknames. They call them the grapes. <laughs> this is amazing. I wonder what else is here. Let's go find out. Oh, this looks like a comfy, cozy spot. There's three bunks. Do you know who would sleep here? The sailors! Oh, let's try it out. Ah. Whoa. Can you imagine if you're on a bunk bed for three people? You have a friend here, you have a friend down there. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> That'd be such a fun sleepover. Ah. Oh, I bet there's more to go see. Come on. Let's go that way. <laughs> oh, this is the part of the ship for different ways to communicate to other people in ships. Like, here's the other end of the voice tube. Hello. <laughs> oh, and over here, it says Morse code. Let's see. Type your name in Morse code. Yeah, did you hear that? It's a way to communicate with other people that are super far away. So, hmm, I'll spell my name. If it's a long line like that, you hold it down. And if it's a dot like that, it's... Okay, so Mika, M, E, E, K, a H Mika, if anyone is wondering. <laughs> oh, and this big light is another way to communicate with people on ships super far away. Let's see. Whoa, that's a really bright light. You could probably even see it through a really foggy night. Check out these red paddle 
paddles. One, two. They're kind of like ping pong paddles. Well, they're super cool and helpful because it's another way to communicate. Pilots needed to be able to land safely, so they relied on signal landing officers like me. Let's see. Uh, let's try this one. It says, wave off, do not land. Do not land. <laughs> or this one that means, too high, you're too high. Or too low, you're too low, buddy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's so cool. Oh, here's another way to communicate with signal flags. Let's see. Uh, I want to tell that ship over there, the pizza has been delivered. My work here is done. Huh, something cool over here. Looks like a person wearing a green shirt. Hey, we saw something like this on the model of the Intrepid, do you remember? If someone's wearing a green shirt, they help the planes take off and land. You're doing a great job. Smooth landing. <laughs> cool. Oh, there's another one over here. Do you know what color shirt this is? It's white. Yep, this is a landing signal officer. Hey, that's like the one I just did with the red paddles. That was a landing signal officer. Hello, I'm a landing signal officer. I, I don't think they sang, but. Oh, this one is wearing a blue shirt. If you're wearing a blue shirt, you're a plane handler and you move the aircraft around the flight deck. Hi! <laughs> what kind of job would you want to have? They had so many different jobs on the Intrepid. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> what a fun day at the museum! I can't believe that we got to go inside of the Concorde and an airplane and a helicopter. Oh, and do you know what this is? This is the Lockheed A-12. It goes super fast, three times the speed of sound. <laughs> well, I hope you had fun learning with me today. This is the end of this video, but if you wanna see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool. M-E-E. K-A-H, Mika. All right, see you soon. Hey, it's me, Mika. And today I'm at the Happy Ice in Los Angeles, California. And I'm so excited because we get to learn all about water ice. Have you ever heard of water ice before? <laughs> it's smooth and creamy like ice cream, but refreshing like shaved ice. And I can't wait to taste it. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Are you ready to explore? <laughs> yeah, come on, let's go. <gasps> hey, I'm Mika, so nice to meet you. Hey Mika, I'm Lemire. <laughs> do you make Happy Ice? Yes, I do. I'm actually the owner of Happy Ice. Really? Yes. Wow. <laughs> and we serve Philadelphia water ice. You ever had it before? Never. Oh man, you need to learn more about it. You want to learn more? Yes, please. Whoa, it's so colorful in here. And look, there's a rainbow. <laughs> I love rainbows. Let's see which colors this rainbow has. Red. Pink, yellow, blue, a different shade of blue, and green. Wow. And hey, look at these clouds. Wait a minute. Oh, we're surrounded by clouds. Whoa, do you see that up there? So fluffy. <laughs> Check out this watermelon. Oh, would you like to count the seeds with me? Great. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten watermelon seeds. <laughs> and did you know this part of the watermelon is called the rind? <laughs> yeah, it's green. Cool. Oh, and look, another red fruit. Do you know what it's called? That's right, cherries. Let's count the cherries. One, two, 
two delicious cherries. Check out all these fruits. <laughs> oh, look at this one. A lemon. It's one of my favorite colors. Yellow. Do you see any other yellow fruit? <gasps> yeah. This pineapple has yellow and green too. This pineapple is so sweet and this one is really sour. <laughs> oh, and look at all these red fruits. Strawberries and some more cherries, just like this one. <laughs> and watermelon too. Oh, I love this place. It makes me feel so happy. Happy ice, happy ice. Sounds so good, I had to sing it twice. <laughs> Rainbow. Whoa. Let's see where the rainbow goes. Ooh. Hey, Lemire. Hey. You ready to get started? Are you ready to get started? <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, we can start off by letting you choose the flavor we start making today. <gasps> can I choose two flavors? Why not? Today's a special day. Oh, great. What color should we choose? I see white and green. I would love to try a yellow flavor, but I don't see any. Oh, well this right here, I know it looks orange, uh -huh. but when we make it and it comes out the machine, it's gonna be bright yellow, just like your headband. Oh, perfect. I'd like that flavor, please. Gotcha. And I would like my other favorite color, purple too, but I don't see it. Oh, purple's your favorite color? Yes, one well, of guess them. Guess what? We don't typically have purple, but I did make a custom flavor recently that I didn't get a chance to use, but today's a special day. Whoa. It's lavender. Lavender? What does yes. that taste like? So lavender is a floral flavor. Uh -huh. It's like a herb, very light, but very, very good. Oh, I'd like that one, please. All right. Purple and yellow. Got it. Let's do it. Great. <laughs> Let's go make it. All righty. We now have our flavors. Great. You ready to start making? Yeah. Okay. Well, we're chefs today, so we have to have our aprons. Great. Now, we're gonna go ahead and pour our flavor inside of our pitchers right here. Okay. Okay? You wanna do yellow? Yes, please. I'll go ahead and do the purple. Wow. All right. Go ahead and pour the whole thing inside. All right. Alrighty. I'll take that one. You can now you have your lavender. Lavender. Mm-hmm. In machine. Pour that one, one. inside of there. Mmm, <laughs> it smells so good. Doesn't it? Yeah. It tastes good too. Awesome. Thank you. And now sitting at the top of the machines is our special water mix. This is what makes Philadelphia water ice, Philadelphia water ice. <laughs> Very special. You wanna go ahead and take this. Okay. And pour this right directly inside the machine with the flavor. Okay, here I go. You are doing a good job today. Oh, thank you. Perfect, yep. And we got one more. One more to go. You actually make two flavors. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. All righty. So now we're at the final stages. Okay. And we want to make the product. So we have our icons on here. And the one that kind of looks like an ice cream cone, when we hit that one, the machine is going to start and it's going to freeze the product oh. and actually turn it into Philadelphia water ice. Wow. Okay. Okay. So I'll let you have the honors of counting down and okay. we're going to hit the button together. Together. Ready? All right. Three, two, one. Oh. Wow. Check out all this foam. <laughs> all righty. So now the product is frozen inside and it's time for us to let it out. All right. So I'm gonna start off by just hitting this button. And this one, and now it's ready to come out. So I'm gonna stir up the top a little bit, get the top mixture a little solid. All right, and we ready to go. Here go your bright yellow. Remember I told you like a head man? Yeah. All right. Looks great. I'm gonna let it out, I'm gonna demonstrate on this one, and you're gonna do that one, okay? Okay. All right, so you wanna bring it to the center. 
you have to lift it up and then a product comes out. And we want to stir it while it's going inside of the bucket. Whoa. And once it fills up, bring this back down, turn it to the side, stop the machine. Keep stirring. We're going to stir it a little bit just to flatten it out. And you are all set. Okay. You want to start by hitting that button, uh -huh. then that one, okay. and then you can lift up the handle. Go ahead, turn that to the middle, lift it up. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> yeah. And go ahead and stir as it's coming out. Do I fill up the whole bucket? That should be enough right there. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna we'll stop the machine for you. And now we have to go ahead and pop on our two lids. Okay. And once we pop on our lids, we're gonna hurry up and get inside of the freezer so there's no ice crystals and we're all ready to go. Great. Okay? All right. So we need our two lids. We're gonna pop our lids on. Perfect. <laughs> and now you wanna go ahead and get them inside of the freezer okay. so they can get ready to serve. <laughs> That was so much fun. <laughs> happy ice, happy ice, sounds so good, I had to sing it twice. Happy ice, happy ice, happy life. <laughs> oh look, we have a customer. <laughs> Wait, I thought I had a customer. <gasps> oh, there she is. <laughs> Here you go, hey, yeah. You're welcome, enjoy. <laughs> Great! Another happy customer. Thanks for helping me learn about Happy Ice today. We got to visit the Happy Ice truck and try different flavors, and we even made our own flavor. Well, that's the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Can you spell my name with me? M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika! See you later, friends! Hey, it's me, Mika. And look, today I'm at Kinderland Indoor Play and Cafe in Las Vegas, Nevada. And they have so many fun and colorful things for us to play with here. They have lots of shapes, lots of trucks and trains and vehicles, and a big slide. And today I brought a special vehicle with me to find a place to drive it around. Look, a choo-choo train. Chugga, 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 choo, choo, choo. <laughs> Come on, let's go see what they have in here. Wow, look how colorful this room is. And hey, there are so many vehicles to play with. Oh, but first, I want to check out these shapes. One, two. Three, four, are you ready to explore? Great, let's go. There are so many shapes here. Look at this one. <laughs> it kind of looks like a telephone. Bring, bring, hello, it's me, Mika. <laughs> and check out this one. Do you know what shape this is? That's right, it's a rectangle, a yellow rectangle. <laughs> oh, and check it out, it has another color too. Do you know what color this is? That's right, it's purple, just like grapes. And one of my favorite colors. Ooh, let's keep looking at all these shapes. Oh, check it out, a triangle. Triangles have three sides. And this one is blue, just like the ocean waves. <laughs> Whoa, and look at this great shape. Do you know what shape this is? <laughs> yeah, a circle, a yellow circle. Whoa, this looks just like the sun, shining bright in the sky. <laughs> and do you know what this color is? <laughs> yeah, red. Whoa, this shape is pretty interesting. 
Do you know what it's called? <laughs> yeah, a semicircle. And if you take two semicircles, guess what you can make? <gasps> a full circle! <laughs> wow! A full circle made out of one semicircle and another one. Hey, I have a great idea. Let's make a bridge and drive our train over it. Hmm, how do I start? Oh, I'll use this big cylinder first, and I'll put this one beside it. Wow, these shapes are really soft. <laughs> wow, oh yeah, this will be a perfect bridge. Wow, doesn't that look like such a great bridge? <laughs> yeah, I have to go get my train over there. I know, let's go under the bridge and go get our train. Here you are, little train. Let's drive over. Chugga, 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 choo, choo. Okay, let's see if our bridge works. Ready, set, go! Oh, wow, look at it go! Shoo. Well, we made it all the way to the other side. I know. Let's pretend to be different cars. Hmm. This car is really, really fast. Can you guess what it is? <laughs> yeah, a race car. Let's pretend to be fast race cars. <laughs> Whoa, that was really speedy. <gasps> oh, let's be an excavator. Okay, get your arm. We have to pick up some shapes. <laughs> Look at me, I'm moving dirt. <laughs> hmm. Let's be a bulldozer now and knock down our bridge. <laughs> that was so much fun. Now that we knocked our bridge over, we have to find some more places to drive our train. Are you ready? Set, go! Vroom, 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 vroom. <laughs> Whoa! Look at these tracks. They're medium-sized tracks. That means they're not too big and they're not too small. They're just in the middle. <laughs> Let's count how many tracks there are. One, two, three. And they're all so colorful. Look at the colors on this one. We have orange, green, and blue. And check out that car. Do you know what colors these are? Yeah, yellow and purple. <gasps> hey. Should we push these cars down the track? <laughs> yeah! Okay, car, get ready. Buckle up. Woo! <laughs> oh, we didn't make it all the way. Let's try again. Back it up. Reverse, reverse. <laughs> Here we go. Buckled up. Okay, let's try again. <laughs> yeah! We did it. Do you know what car this is? <laughs> yeah, it's a fire truck. <laughs> Get your sirens on. Come on, we have to go save some people. Whoa, so fast. Hey, do you think we should make our train go down the track? <laughs> yeah. Okay, train, time to go down the medium track. Are you ready? Get set. Ch -ch -ch chug a chug a chug a chug a choo. Choo. Chug a chug a chug a chug a choo. Choo. <laughs> that was so much fun. Let's go see what other tracks we can drive our train down. Ooh. Wow. Check out this tiny town. It has tiny train tracks <gasps> and lots of trains. Whoa, chugga, chugga, chugga. I know, let's count how many trains there are. 
One, two, three, chug, four, five, <laughs> six, and seven from my jam pack. Oh, this train is looking really dirty. Let's go to the train wash. Chugga, 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 choo. Okay, time to get washed. <laughs> All clean. Whoa, it looks like I need to make some repairs to this track. <laughs> I have some tools in my jam pack. Whoa, look at this train station. Oh, nice. <gasps> hmm, what should we do next? Uh, I know. Let's drive our trains around this track. <laughs> chug, 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 choo, choo. <gasps> wow, look at them go. Whoa, I wonder what this does. Hmm, let's see. Looks like a circle you can spin your train around. So then it could change directions and go down a different track. <laughs> oh, dead end. Let's go back. How about, hmm, let me see. My compass watch will tell me. Huh, let's go east. Chugga, chugga, choo. Let's go over the yellow bridge now. Hoo -hoo. <laughs> chugga, chugga, choo! <laughs> Whoa, there are lots of other vehicles too. <gasps> A recycling chuck. Very good for the earth. Vroom, vroom. <laughs> too big for this track though. <gasps> Whoa, check this one out. I bet we can put our trains inside. <laughs> Load them up. <laughs> <laughs> Let's drive over to another place to explore. Whoa! Check out all these vehicles. There are so many different types of them. There's a choo-choo train, and a bicycle, and a race car. <laughs> what do you think? Should we try these vehicles? <laughs> yeah! Okay, let's go on our bicycle. <gasps> Woohoo! Bicycle. Whoa! <laughs> okay, let's try a race car next. Let's power up our engines. <laughs> honk, honk. Honk, honk. <laughs> Here we go. Whoa! So fast! I like cruising with you. <gasps> Whoa, look at this car. It has a number on it. Do you know what number this is? Yeah, it's the number eight. Let's drive car number eight. <laughs> oh, but it's a red light, I have to stop. Green, go! Yellow means slow down. Okay, green, we can go fast again. Oh, hey, check it out. Do you see that ball pit? <laughs> yeah, let's drive our choo-choo train over. Chugga, 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 choo. Chugga, 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 choo. Choo. Woo! What do you think? Should I get in the ball pit? <laughs> yeah, let's go! Woohoo! <laughs> oh, I know. Let's make some snow angels. <laughs> hey, check it out! I found another train in the ball pit. This is a pretty big train. Chug, chug, chug. Choo, choo, choo. <laughs> Okay, that was so much fun. Let's swim away. Wow, look at all these colorful steps. Let's name the colors. 
We have dark green, burgundy, pink, blue, green, just like grass, purple, red, and navy blue. Whoa, this is so colorful and fun. And look, another bridge. Let's chug across. Chugga, 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 choo, choo. Whoa, look at this big red slide. Oh, I can't wait to slide down, but after you train. Ready, set, go! Woo! <laughs> Whoa. Okay, my turn. Three, two, one. <laughs> wow, what a great day. We found so many places to drive our train. We did it, we did it, we never ever quit it, we did it. Do you remember all the places we drove our train? Yeah, we drove our train over the bridge made of shapes. We drove our train on those little tracks in the tiny town. We even drove our train on medium tracks going downhill. And then we drove our train down the slide. <laughs> that was such a fun day driving around with you. Well, that's the end of this video. But if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Can you spell my name with me? M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. Okay, friends, see you later. Chugga, 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 choo, choo. It's me, Mika, and today we're at Posh and Petite Playhouse in Woodland Hills, California. <laughs> Did you know this is a place where we can explore and be curious about different jobs? <laughs> I can't wait to try different jobs like an ice cream maker or a firefighter. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Which way should we go? Oh, check out this road. <laughs> Look, it's black with white stripes. Oh, black and white are opposite colors. Opposites mean they're completely different from one another. Kind of like, oh, night and day or hot and cold. <laughs> oh, check it out. Do you see that horse over there? Oh, let's drive our car over to him. Hello, horsey. <laughs> I'm gonna name him Popsicle, cause I really love Popsicle. <laughs> Can you pretend to be a horse? <gasps> Nay! Whoa! Oh, he's got a lot of horsepower. Let's go! <laughs> Check it out, it's a marketplace. We can buy healthy fruits and vegetables here and make delicious meals. I know, let's be a grocer. <laughs> All right, see you later, Popsicle. First, we need our basket. <laughs> wow, check it out. If we wanna be a grocer, we have to get some items to put in our basket so we can ring it up. First, we'll need some alphabet soup. That's healthy and delicious. And how about some peas and carrots? And, ooh, mushrooms too. Check out all these healthy fruits and vegetables. Fruits and vegetables are good for your body because they help you grow strong. <laughs> I got it. Let's play a game. Fruit or vegetable? A carrot. It's orange and crunchy, and bunny rabbits love to eat them. Mmm, tasty. <laughs> Do you know if this is a fruit or a vegetable? Oh, that's right, a vegetable. Great job. All right, how about this? It's a cucumber. It's green and it has seeds. Fruits have seeds and vegetables don't. Fruit or vegetable? Oh yeah, that's a tricky one. It's a fruit, even though it seems like it's a vegetable. But great job. Hmm. 
Oh, yum, a strawberry. Strawberries are really, really sweet. Is a strawberry a fruit or a vegetable? <laughs> awesome, a fruit. One fruit point, please. Hmm, oh, look, a lemon. Lemons are one of my favorite colors, yellow, and they're really sour. Can you pretend to taste a sour lemon? <laughs> Whoa, oh, sour is the opposite of sweet. Strawberries are sweet, but lemons are sour. Is this a fruit or a vegetable? <laughs> right, a fruit, just like the sweet strawberry. Okay, ooh, check it out, a piece of corn. Mmm, <gasps> that's delicious. Do you know if it's a fruit or a vegetable? <laughs> right, a yummy vegetable. All right, let's go check out now. Welcome to Mika's Marketplace. Oh, I see you got corn. And you're in luck, because we have a special on corn. Just one cent. And a lemon. And our sweet strawberry. And a delicious carrot. And alphabet soup. Peas and carrots. Mmm, mushrooms. Wow, you got so many healthy options. <laughs> oh, being a grocer is so much fun. We even got to help a customer take home delicious vegetables to make yummy meals. <laughs> Let's go see what other jobs we can do. Yeehaw! We're at an ice cream shop. I know, let's pretend to be ice cream makers. Ice cream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. Let's go! Welcome to Mika's Magical Ice Cream Parlor. What's that? Fresh baked cookies? <laughs> Coming right up. Look at that, fresh out the oven. Oh, they smell delicious. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve crispy cookies. Let's taste one. Mmm, that's delicious. Would you like a bite? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Mmm, do you know what this is? That's right, a purple popsicle, just like my horse's name. <laughs> Would you like a popsicle? There you are, one for you and one for me. Oh, that's really cold. Perfect for a hot day. Oh, those are opposites, hot and cold. When I'm cold, oh, it makes me shiver. But when I'm hot, oh, I could sure use a popsicle. <laughs> Would you like some ice cream today? Great, how many scoops? Oh, five scoops? Okay, here we go. One chocolate scoop. Two, a vanilla scoop. Three, mint chocolate chip. <laughs> There you go, friend. Perfect. Four, a strawberry scoop. And five, a vanilla scoop on top. <laughs> wow, it's stacked up so high. <laughs> I love being an ice cream maker. I love scooping ice cream and tasting it too. Hey, I'm pretty good at it. <laughs> Okay, let's see what other jobs we can do. <gasps> oh, don't forget Popsicle. Hello, Popsicle. Are you ready? Are you set? Go! <gasps> wow, check it out. We're in front of a fire station. 
A firefighter's job is to put out fires. Do you want to be a firefighter with me? <laughs> awesome. Let's go. This is a cool fire station. Oh, look, a fire truck. It's red and really long, too. <laughs> and look at these trucks. Let's go park. All right, to the parking lot we go. <laughs> oh, and look at these trucks. They're really big. Oh, and these trucks are small. Big and small. Those are opposites. How about this one? Big or small compared to this truck? Pretty small, right? <laughs> but what about compared to this one? Oh, now it's really big. <laughs> Do you hear that? It's a siren. Oh, we gotta get ready to go. Put out a fire. Hello? Yes, fire? On one, two, three, fire road? Oh no! Let's go! Grab our hose! <gasps> Firefighter Mika is on the way! Grab my hose and save the day! Oh! Awesome! We just put out a fire! Oh, <laughs> that was so much fun! Thanks for helping me, you're very brave! Firefighters are really brave. <laughs> Let's go see what other jobs we can do. Whoa, look, an animal hospital. This is where veterinarians work. Veterinarians are doctors, but for animals. Would you like to be a veterinarian with me? <laughs> awesome, let's go. <laughs> oh, look at these doors. A small door for turtles and hamsters and gerbils too. And a medium door for bunny rabbits and ducks, quack quack, and ferrets and guinea pigs too. And a large door for cats and dogs. Large and small, those are opposites. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Oh, and look at this door for birdies. Oh, that's another opposite. High and low, low and high. <laughs> Let's pretend to be birds Fly into the vet's office. Tweet, 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 tweet. <laughs> oh, do you hear that? Paging Dr. Mika, you have a patient ready. Okay. Oh, and check it out, here's our patient. Hello, puppy, how are you today? Little scratches, scratches. Did your family bring you here for a checkup? Oh, awesome. All right, let's get started, boy. We have a stethoscope. Stethoscopes are for hearing what's inside of your body, like your heart. Oh, may I check your heart too? Great. Wow, that sounds nice and strong. Okay, let's check puppy's heart. This might be a little cold. Wow, that sounds so healthy and strong. You must be getting on your daily walks, huh? Don't forget to hydrate, okay? Doctor's orders. <laughs> oh, being a veterinarian is so much fun. I love helping animals and their families too. <laughs> Now that I checked out the whole town, I'm gonna hit the road. Are you ready, Popsicle? <laughs> Let's go, giddy up! <laughs> Thank you so much for exploring different jobs with me today. <laughs> if I had to choose, I'd be a ice cream maker, grocer, animal doctor, firefighter. <laughs> all at once. <laughs> they were all so much fun, I can't just pick one. <laughs> but you know the best part? Exploring with you, friend. <laughs> yeah. 
Well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Can you spell my name with me? Oh, great! M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika! <laughs> okay, friends, see you later. Bye-bye! Hi, it's me, Mika. And today I'm at Bubble Pop in Orange County, California. Have you ever played with bubbles before? <laughs> They're so much fun! Maybe you've used a wand and blew bubbles into the air. Or maybe you've taken a bubble bath. <laughs> it's so fun! Well, at Bubble Pop, we get to play with bubbles all day long. Will you play with me? Oh, let's go! Whoa! Check it out! Bubbles! And... <gasps> hey! Do you know what this is? <laughs> a bubble wand! Whoa, and this one has a lot of circles on it. I wonder if that means it will make a ton of bubbles. Let's find out. Okay, get some solution on there. <gasps> huh. I'll just try again. <laughs> I only got two out. Do you hear that? air blowing out from these two places here. That must mean if I take the bubble solution, put it on the wand, and then put it on the fan. <laughs> That's so cool. Let's do it again. Whoa, <laughs> look how many bubbles. Hey, here's another bubble wand. It looks just like this one, but there's something different. That's right. There's a yellow circle right here in the middle. Hello. All right, let's try this one. <gasps> Whoa, even more bubbles. Wonder if I could do two at the same time. <laughs> okay. Three, two, one. Whoa, so many bubbles. Whoa, I'm going to do it again. Three, two, one. <gasps> Whoa. <laughs> Wait a second. I have an idea. Check this out. See, there's a bunch of squares in here. Kind of looks like a big waffle. What would happen if I put some bubble solution on this and put it on the fan. Ready? Three, two, one. Wow! It kind of looks like the bubbles you would see when you're getting a bubble bath. I'm gonna do it again. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. Whoa! <laughs> bubbles are so much fun. I wonder what else we can do here. Come on. Whoa, look, even more bubbles. Whoa, but check out this bubble wand. It's a big yellow circle. One of my favorite colors. <laughs> See if I can make a bubble. Whoa. <laughs> oh, I caught it. <laughs> do it again. Whoa, that was a big bubble. <laughs> oh, hi. Hi. I'm Teresa from Bubble Pop. Hi, Teresa. I'm Mika. Nice to meet you. Hi, Mika. I'm so glad that you're playing with our bubbles. Yeah. Can I show you some bubble tricks? Oh, yes, please. All Let's right. see. So I saw you making a bubble. Uh-huh. All right. So we're going to make the bubble kind of like you just did and then catch it just like Ooh. you did. Whoa. Whoa, you have three <laughs> or more bubbles on your wand. Check it out. <gasps> Our bubbles came together what? and made a huge one. Whoa! <laughs> wow, bubbles oh, are right. awesome. What is a bubble? Well, I'm glad you asked, Mika, because you can see right here. See this film mm -hmm. on the wand? Yeah, it's like shiny. Yeah, it's our bubble solution. So usually bubble solutions are made of soap and water mm -hmm. and usually something else that's a polymer that will bind everything together. Water molecules love each other so much. They like to just hold hands 
and be really tight. And so they squeeze the soap molecule together. And that's why there's a thin film here that makes your bubble. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah. And when they do that, it's called cohesion. Cohesion. Yep, and that's what makes the bubble hold together just like this. Wow. <laughs> All right, you ready to do a bubble trick? Yeah. Okay, so because bubbles love each other so much, the water molecules inside a bubble, we can actually create a bubble inside this bubble. How? You wanna try it with me? Yeah. So I want you to blow very short first inside the bubble. <gasps> Whoa, do you see that? There's little bubbles in the really big bubble. Whoa. Whoa, <laughs> can I do that even in this little bubble? I think you can. Oh, I see a baby one. Yeah, <laughs> there's a tiny one right there. So instead of blowing bubbles inside a bubble, something else that cohesion allows us to do is put a bubble on any surface that we want to. Oh, okay. Like, how about your hand? You want to try to catch one <gasps> yes, in your hand? Yes, 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 yes. Okay, so I will make a bubble for okay. you, and then you try to catch it with your hand. All righty. I'm going to catch that bubble. Ooh, oh, that it was popped. So close. <laughs> it did pop. <laughs> so the most important thing about cohesion is that you need water molecules together, right? Is your, oh. Let me see your hand. It's oh, just it was, a little wet. It was kind of dry. Yeah. Let's try it with a bunch of water molecules on it and then they can link together. Woo, okay. Get all the solution on my hands. Yes. I'm ready to catch this bubble. Okay, I am going to throw one at you. Oh, you did it, you caught it. I caught a bubble. Wow, that's Hello. so cool. Let me see if I can even pop it, but I wet my hand. So I think the water is gonna like each other <gasps> and I can put my hand in what? Inside your bubble. Teresa, you're a bubble magician. Whoa. <laughs> was that cool? That was amazing. Do you want to see other cool bubble tricks? Yes, I do. Okay, come on, let's go. Right, come with us. Mika, wow. let me show you this oh. phantom bubble station. Phantom bubble station? Yes. Do you oh. remember before how we made a bubble with just air in it? Mm -hmm. All right, well, this one, we're going to make a bubble, but it's going to be filled with something besides air. Oh, what is it gonna be filled with? Do you know what dry ice is, Mika? Yeah. <laughs> so dry ice is made of carbon dioxide, which is already in our air. We would just breathe it normally. But what they do is they make it really, really tight so that it get things really, really cold. Oh, and way colder than the ice you would find in your refrigerator. Yeah, that's right. It's negative 100 <sighs> degrees Fahrenheit. That's super cold. In fact, it's so cold, it's not really safe to touch. Mm -mm. So we never want to touch it. So what we do is we keep it nice and safe inside here. Mm -hmm. But what comes out is the sublimated form of carbon dioxide, oh. which is this smoke that we see. Isn't yeah. that neat? So we can put it here in our bubble solution. We turn it and it can trap the, the fog inside the bubble. Oh, and look. now you have a smoke-filled bubble. That's really neat. Yeah. It was kind of like a crystal ball. Yeah, and you know what's really cool? Remember last time how we put a bubble in your hand? Yep. Would you like a smoke-filled bubble in your hand? Yes, I would, thank you. All right, let's <laughs> do it. All right, so do you remember the trick to how we always hold a bubble without popping it? Right, you don't want your hands to be dry. Mm -hmm. My hands are really dry right now, so I'm gonna put some bubble solution on them. They get nice and wet. Perfect. Okay. All right, and I will help you put the bubble inside your hand. Okay. All right, here we go. Get it on here, hold on. Why don't we, there we go. Look at that. Whoa. Whoa, now you have a smoke-filled bubble in your hand. That's so cool. You can't even see through it. That's how much smoke is in mm -hmm. there. Can you make it dance? <laughs> oh, come on, bubble. Yes. This bubble has moved. <laughs> Did you know that carbon dioxide is actually heavier than regular air? Oh. Yeah, so when we fill the bubble, mm -hmm. we use only carbon dioxide. So all you see is the smoke that's inside. Yeah, you can't see through it or anything. Nope. 
But if we make a bubble and we have both air and carbon dioxide, Whoa. we'll be able to see which one's heavier. How does it get in there? So we're gonna use this and we're gonna stick it right inside here. Thank you for your help, Mika. Yeah. All right, Whoa. do you see that? Do you see how at the bottom, there's the fog, carbon dioxide smoke, and then mm -hmm. at the top, you can see that it's just regular air. Right. So even though it's both air and gas, one is definitely heavier than the other. Yeah, and it's going to the bottom. Yeah, and then look, now you have a smoke-filled bubble. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> These are the biggest bubbles I've ever seen. Ooh, <laughs> bubble hug. Yeah, that was cool. Do you want to see something, Mika? Yeah. All right, I'm going to make... <gasps> A bubble arch, it's like a rainbow. All right, I'm gonna make one more just for you, all oh, right? Thanks. Here we go. <gasps> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. All right, do you wanna try? Yeah, thanks. Oh, oh look how big this bubble wand is. It's bigger than my head. <laughs> <laughs> all right, okay, get some solution on there and Whoa. Whoa, it was so pretty. That was awesome, great job. Thank you, and thanks for teaching me about bubbles and showing me all these cool bubble tricks. Yeah, no problem. I hope you're having a great time. Oh yeah. Have fun. All right, I'll see you later. Okay, bye. Whoa. She knows a lot about bubbles. All right, I'm gonna do another arch. Ready? Three, two, one. Arch! Oh. <laughs> I wonder what else I can do with this big bubble wand. Whoa, look. It looks like a magnifying glass. Hello. <laughs> Whoa, did you see that one? Oh, that one popped really fast. Whoa, that one popped fast too. I wonder if I can make one that will stay and float a little bit. <gasps> Whoa! Bubbles inside of a big bubble? Oh, that was amazing! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> I could fit inside of that bubble! That's how big it was! Whoa, <laughs> it's raining bubbles on me. <laughs>
That's where you use a lot of different materials to make one art piece. Let's go. Oh, paint place. <laughs> Come on. Wow, there are so many cool paintings in here. I see an artist. Come on. Hey. I'm Mika, what's your name? I'm Mika, I'm Deirdre. Oh, hi Deirdre, nice to meet you. What do you do here? I'm an instructor at the paint place, I'm an artist. Oh, oh, you're a very good artist. What is this? This is the New York City skyline. <gasps> New York City, that's where we are right now. I think I wanna make a skyline too, but I wanna do a mixed media piece. Oh, absolutely, you're gonna need more supplies though. So okay. why don't you grab it from the table? Oh, all right, thanks, see you soon. Whoa, look at all of these materials that I get to use for my mixed media piece. Oh, oh, here's an apron. That's super important because that way I can protect my clothes from paint or glue. Let me just tie this on. <laughs> look at all the paint that's already on the apron. <laughs> okay, let's see, what do I wanna use? Oh, check this out. Do you know what shape this is? It's a circle, and there's a lot of little circles around it. You wanna count the circles with me? Let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten little circles. This is a paint palette. You can put different colors of paint in the little circles. Oh, I definitely need that. Hmm, what else? Oh, some paint brushes for sure. I like these little ones for detailing. Throw those in there. Oh, there's different kinds of ways to apply paint to a canvas. You could use a paintbrush or a sponge. That can make a really fun texture. I'm gonna throw that in there. Hmm, oh, glue. I might need some glue. Let's see, look at all of these colors. I see some of my favorite colors in here. I'm gonna use, ooh. Purple, oh yeah. Purple in there and hmm. Yellow. <laughs> wow, it would be so cool to have purple and yellow buildings. And this blue is pretty cool too. So purple, yellow, blue, hmm. Looks like some of these papers are already cut out. Might need some of these. I'll get red and blue and yellow. Throw in some extra. Okay. Whoa, there's felt pieces cut out. Oh, what do we have here? <laughs> Look, there's a person. Hey, do you wanna be in my skyline painting? Yes, I do. Oh. Great, you can go in there and what kind of shapes are over here? <gasps> a sunshine. My skyline could be during a sunny day. Oh, you're definitely going in there. And some squiggles, those are fun. Throw those in there, I'll just throw them all. Wow, look at all these different colored puffy balls. Woo, they're called pom-poms, hmm. I think I'm gonna throw some in there. And, oh, I'll definitely need scissors. If you're gonna use scissors, make sure you're with a grown up. And, ooh, a sponge roller. That can be fun. Another way to apply paint. And, whoa, look at all of these different colors. I'm gonna throw that in there. And whoa, look at this cool paintbrush. <laughs> the big paintbrush. This one is kind of like a triangle. Ooh, that'll be fun. And some colored pencils. Oh, this is gonna be so colorful. What a great way to remember my day in New York City. I'm missing anything? <gasps> I need a canvas. This will do it. All right, let's get started. I'm so excited to make this art piece. Oh, here's an easel. Put my canvas right there. And I'll put my materials over here. Hey, there's other paint here. 
Look at this bright pink. Ooh, kind of matches my nails. This is acrylic paint, which is different than the watercolor paint that I put in my basket over there. Acrylic paint is thicker than watercolor paint. Watercolor is thinner and transparent, which means you can see through it. Hmm. I think I'm actually gonna use the acrylic paint today. All right. Uh, oh, I'll use my paint palette. So I'm gonna make a sky and water. So I'll need blue. Oh, here's some blue paint right here. Okay. Whoop, see? Nice blue paint. And oh, look at this blue. I love this color. It's kind of like a turquoise or a teal. Put that on there. <gasps> so pretty. And I'll add some black. Ooh. <laughs> and white. There we go. Check it out. And I'll need a paintbrush. Oh, this looks like a perfect paintbrush for my sky and my water. All right, let's get started. <laughs> okay, starting with a blank canvas. I can go anywhere. I'm feeling inspired. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna start with the sky. So I think I'm gonna use this blue and a little bit of white. Some water on there. And I have to be careful because acrylic paint could stain my clothes. Good thing I'm wearing an apron. <laughs> Get this beautiful blue sky. Okay, I think the sky's looking pretty good. And now I'm gonna do the water, the river. Hmm. Maybe make the water a little darker than the sky. Some more blue. And if I add black to it, I can make it a little darker than the sky. Okay, now I see a hair dryer. That's such a smart way to make the paint dry faster. Hey, see? Whoop. I'm gonna dry my paint so then I can add the next material. Oh yeah. Okay, I think that's pretty good. Hmm, my water looks really dark. Oh, I bet if I added some blue to it, it would make it look a little more like water. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, whoops. Okay, I'm gonna add more blue. Let's see. This will brighten it up. Because it's so dark, it looks like a street almost, but I really want it to be water. And I'm gonna add a little white. It's always important to clean your brush in between colors. Get some white on there. Wow, so I have sky and water, and I want some clouds up here. <gasps> I could use my fingers to make clouds. Okay. It's so cool how you can use different things to apply paint. <laughs> and the good thing about a paint apron is you can just ride off. Three puffy clouds. Whoop. All right, let me get. Now let's dry the clouds. Okay, check it out. It's the Empire State Building. 
I'm gonna have that building in my New York City skyline. <laughs> okay, let's put some buildings on my canvas. Get a lot of glue on here so my buildings stick. Here. Look, a yellow rectangle. Rectangles make really good buildings. All right, I finished gluing on my buildings. Now I'm gonna move on to my felt pieces. <gasps> Remember this, friend? Put some glue. All right. What should I name this person? Hmm. I think I'm gonna name him George! George, where do you wanna go? Oh, okay. All right, you're a little close to the water, George, but I get it. It's the summer, you wanna cool off. And, oh, my sunshine! To find my felt. <gasps> sunshine, there it is. Okay, I'll put the sun up here. Oh, I love it. I think it would be really cool to add some cotton balls to my clouds. There's some over here. Oh, don't these look like clouds? Soft and fluffy and white. All right, let's see what it will look like. Add some here. Yeah, cool, I like it. What do you think? I think the clouds look really cool. And now, I think I'll add some details to the buildings. I'll need a small paintbrush, like this one. Isn't this so fun? It's what's cool about mixed media. You can use all different kinds of materials to make an art piece. Oh, I still have some white paint here. Water in there, and then Let's see, maybe this building can have some windows. Might be an apartment building. Oh, George lives here. George, you have a great building. Nice tenants. Okay. And then maybe some lines here, lines there. This building can have lines like that. And I'm gonna do three lines on this one. One, two, three. Mm -hmm. What's so cool about art is you can do whatever you want. All right. Some details, I think that's pretty good. And I forgot, I have something in my jam pack. I'm gonna put some glitter on my painting. What do you think? Yeah. All right, I need some glue so the glitter sticks. I think it would look good in the water. Sparkly water. Now my mixed media art piece is all complete. Oh, hey Deidre. Hi, this looks amazing. Thank you, I had so much fun making it. I know the perfect spot where we can hang it up. Really? Yes, yeah, someone's coming to pick up their painting, so why don't we hang up yours? <gasps> I get to be on the wall with the other artists? That's so cool. I hope you enjoy the paint place. I did, it was so fun. Thanks for having me. Bye. All right, see you later. Well, I feel like a real artist now. <laughs> that was so fun. Well, guess I don't need my apron anymore because I'm all finished with my art piece. <laughs> What a great day at the paint place. I got to make a mixed media art piece using construction paper and felt pieces and paint and glitter. Oh, that was so cool. And I even got to hang it up on the wall <laughs> like an official artist. Well, that's the end of this video. But if you wanna see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool. M-E-E. K-A-H, Mika. All right, I'll see you next time. Bye. Hey, 
it's me, Nika. Today I'm at Discovery Children's Museum in Las Vegas, Nevada. This place has so many fun things to learn about. I love learning about art and science by tinkering with things to see what'll happen. <laughs> That's called an experiment. Yeah, let's do cool experiments together. One, two, three, four. Are you ready to explore? Great, let's go. Whoa, water world. I bet there are some cool experiments here. Let's move our bodies like water. Come on. <laughs> Whoa! Look at this tall tower! I bet it does something really cool. The ramps help move the water down to these two big circles. Check it out! One circle is yellow, and the other is orange. Whoa, the yellow one is moving a lot faster than the orange one. And look! Let's count the ramps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven ramps. Oh, and look, some balls. Huh, I wonder what'll happen if we put the ball in here. Let's try it. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. The green ball is moving on the ramp. Let's see where it goes. Wow! It's a ball pit! There are so many colorful balls in here. Red, and yellow, and green too. <laughs> that was so amazing. Water can do so many things. Like make sounds. What is that sound? Let's go find out. <laughs> wow! Check out these musical chimes. Huh, I wonder how we can make it make music. Let's experiment and find out. Oh, do you hear that? <laughs> yeah. Oh. The water is hitting the ball and the chimes and making music. Clink, 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 clink. <laughs> That is so cool. <laughs> oh, and look at this one over here. Hmm, these chimes are a little different. I wonder what sounds they'll make. Oh, uh -huh. Whoa. oh it makes a sound when it's in the water, too. Sounds like a rushing river. <laughs> okay, let's flow over there. <laughs> Whoa, check out these wheels. Hmm, they have different shapes. I wonder what that means. <laughs> I got it, let's do a race. All right, back it up, back it up. Are you ready? On your mark, get set, go! And they're off. All right, they're going fast. <gasps> wow, the one with the cups is going much faster. <laughs> Cool. Hey, I wonder what that is. Whoa, I wonder what these are for. Hmm. <gasps> Check it out. This one looks like slices of pizza. I'd like a slice. <laughs> Let's see what happens when we do this. Oh, wow. It turns the water into different shapes and it comes out different ways. Let's try this one next. <laughs> Check it out, it's a fountain. <laughs> the harder I press, the higher it goes. Whoa! <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, and look at these wheels. Hmm, I wonder what happens if we spin them. Wow, do you see those bubbles? Cool. Let's spin them together. Oh, it frick, it frick, it frick, DJ Mika coming to a pool near you. Wow, look at the water. It's spinning 
around and around and around. <gasps> this is a whirlpool. It's kind of like a tornado, but with water. A tornado has air spinning around, and a whirlpool has water. Hey, let's pretend to be a whirlpool and spin around. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, I'm a little dizzy. <laughs> oh, let's see what'll happen when we put this red ball in there. Ready, set, go! <laughs> wow! It went woo -woo -woo all the way to the bottom. Let's try two balls now. Yellow and red. In you go. Wow! <laughs> Ooh, let's try three balls now. One red, one green, and another red. There you go. Ready, set. <laughs> do you think we should try four? <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Here we go. Are you ready? Are you set? Whirl away. <laughs> wow, that was so cool. Okay, let's whirl over there. You see the yellow car behind me? I wonder how it works. Hmm. Oh, look! It has blue straps that are attached with hooks. I think the blue straps are so you can lift the car up. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, look! Pick it up lever. <laughs> yeah! This must be a lever experiment. Ooh, let's go check it out. The bar balances the weight so that you can lift it with little effort. <laughs> oh, should we lift this car with the lever? <laughs> yeah, let's go. Oh, I wonder what'll happen when I pull this rope. Let's see. Whoa! <laughs> I lifted the car all by myself. <laughs> yeah, that was awesome. We did it, we did it. We never, ever quit it. We did it. <laughs> wow, levers are pretty cool. Hey, check out those stairs. I wonder where they lead. Let's go find out. Oh. Oh, this is a music room. Did you know when you hear a sound, it moves through your ear canal and makes vibrations that tell your brain what you're hearing? <laughs> yeah, very cool. And look, this room has so many things we can make music with in different sounds. Let's give it a try. <gasps> I wonder what would happen if we press this yellow button. <laughs> Let's find out. Whoa! Check it out! This has air! <gasps> Let's put it over here. Look! It's a music note. The note E. <laughs> Let's try this green one. Oh, that's the note F. Okay, Blue, what do you have? <gasps> a G. Okay, Purple. the orange one. D. That's a low note. <laughs> and another C. <laughs> wow, that was cool. Look, do you know what this shape is? That's right, it's a triangle. Triangles have three sides. One, two, three. And they can make music too. <laughs> Let's give it a shot. Whoa! Oh, that sounds awesome! <laughs> Check it out! This is so colorful. Hmm. What happens if we hit this with this yellow stick? Let's see. Oh, another note! Let's drag it across. 
so cool. <gasps> Whoa! Look, it's drums. Hmm, let's count how many drums there are. One, two, three, four, five drums. Oh, this beat makes me wanna move my feet. Hey, I got it. Let's make a song. I'll give us a beat. Hey, I'm Lika, and I'm here to say I love exploring and figuring away. Hey, give it a shot, try it out, see what it's about. <laughs> Drum roll, please, for the grand finale. Yeah! Whoa, this place is so colorful. <laughs> I bet they have lots of things to tinker around with here. <laughs> What's this? Hmm, it kind of looks like a chalkboard. Let's confirm. <laughs> yep, a chalkboard. <laughs> Great job, scientist. <laughs> <gasps> and look, it rotates. That means it spins. <gasps> Let's Spin and draw. That was fun. Let's keep exploring. <laughs> wow. Let's draw on this. <laughs> Whoa. Look. <laughs> Do you know what color this is? <laughs> yeah, yellow. One of my favorite colors. Ooh, let's erase now. <laughs> oh, erase. Now let's draw with this color. Do you know what it is? <laughs> yeah, blue. Hmm, let's see if you can guess what this is. Can you guess? Yeah, they're waves, just like down in Water World. <laughs> okay, what else did we draw? <gasps> hey, I know. Let's draw some shapes. <laughs> I like yellow. Do you know what this is? <laughs> yeah, a triangle, just like when we were playing the triangles. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> okay, how about this one? Yeah, it's an oval. <laughs> okay, one more. <laughs> Do you know what shape this is? <laughs> That's right, it's a shining star. <laughs> okay, let's erase and keep exploring. <laughs> Whoa, what's this? Oh, we can build something out of these pieces. <laughs> let's give it a try. Ooh, I wonder what's in here. <laughs> Whoa! This is really bendy. <laughs> Ooh, let's make another bridge. Two bridges. <laughs> Ooh, let's make a third bridge. Wow! Okay, those connect there. Hmm, I think I need a couple more pieces. This'll work. One more. <laughs> there we go. Whoa, look at all these bridges. <laughs> Let's go through it. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I've got it. Let's make a flower garden. <laughs> Ooh, this could be a rose. <gasps> and this can be a daisy. <laughs> Perfect little flower garden. <laughs> Check out all this art. <laughs> Whoa. <gasps> Look, a beach ball. <gasps> okay, I'm gonna throw it to you, friend. Ready, set. Oh, awesome catch. Okay, throw it back to me. Whoa. <laughs> Good job. Check out these instruments. Let's play them. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, and look, a guitar. Tuck, tuck, tuck. Ding, 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 ding. <gasps> Do you see that dog? <laughs> yeah, it must be someone's pet. Oh, good girl. <laughs> well, that was fun. <laughs> Whoa, <gasps> this place is amazing. We learned so much by doing experiments and trying things out for ourselves. We played with water. We lifted a whole car with a lever. And we tinkered around with some music and art. We did a lot. Well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Can you spell my name with me? <laughs> M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. OK, friends, see you later. It's me, Mika, and today I'm visiting Hack Beach in Southgate, California. Did you know this is a place where we can rock climb? <laughs> yeah, rock climbing is a fun way to exercise our bodies. Oh, I have an idea. Let's play a game. Every time I make it all the way to the tippy top, I'm going to get a Mika point. <laughs> Doesn't that sound fun? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Wow, check out all these climbing towers. <gasps> oh, before we start climbing, we should stretch and warm up our bodies. Stretching is a great way to keep your muscles healthy and safe. <gasps> okay, starting with those legs. Ah, deep breaths. Ah. <gasps> Do you hear that? I just got a Mika point for stretching. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, before I climb, I should take off my jam pack. Okay, I'm ready. Oh, wow. Hey, I'm Mika, nice to meet you. Hi, I'm Bertha, nice to meet you. <laughs> did you just climb all the way to the top? Yes, I did. Oh, wow. Can you show me how to get ready to climb? Yeah, of course. Awesome. <laughs> What's the first step? Thank you. Okay, so the first step, I have to get a harness on you, just for your own safety, okay? Oh, great. We're gonna get a harness on so we can be safe while we climb. Okay, so once you're ready, you're gonna put your right foot and left foot in the small holes, and then just pick it up like they're pants, okay? Oh, great. Right foot, left foot. Pick them up like they're pants. Good job. And you're gonna hold it on your waist. Thank you. Get in it. Okay, nice you Great, I feel really secure. All right, you're good. Okay, and now the next step, you're gonna get your wheel and you're gonna put it in here, okay? Got my wheel. Hear the click and then you get your key and then take it right out. Release the key. There you go. <gasps> Great. And then just let your mat come down and then you're good to go. Thank you so much for that. Yeah, of course. Bye. <laughs> okay, my harness is on and I'm locked into the belay and I'm ready to go because I'm safe and ready. <laughs> Are you ready? Come on, let's climb. <gasps> wow! using the muscles in my legs and my arms. <laughs> Great job. Wow, another Mika point. It was so cool. I can't wait to climb another wall. But first, we have to get out of our wheel. Pick up the key. Wait for the click. There it is. And release our wheel. Woo. <laughs> Great. Are you ready for our next wall? Me too. Let's go. Look, we're at our next wall. But first, let's stretch again. All right. Here's how I stretch my legs. Yeah, and here's how I stretch my arms. Whoa. <laughs> 
stretch out my toesies too. And don't forget those ears. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> All right, I'm ready. Take my wheel, click, and release the key. I'm ready to go. <laughs> Whoa, don't these look like eggs? <laughs> All right, here I go. Wow! Another Mika point. Whoa! I made it all the way to the top by taking it one step at a time. Ah! <sighs> all that climbing has made me kind of tired. I think now's a great time for a water break. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> all right, let's put in our key. Quick! Grab our wheel. Ah! <sighs> let's go. I'm having so much fun climbing walls with you, but I'm feeling a little thirsty. Good thing I brought my water bottle. More Mika points, yeah! Whoa, did I just get another Mika point for drinking water? <laughs> Great! <sighs> climbing up high is a lot of fun, but it's important to drink water after you play. That's called staying hydrated, and it's really good for your body. <laughs> Okay, now that I'm hydrated, I'm ready to climb the coolest wall ever. Are you ready? Great, let's go. To our next wall. Oh, and it's icy and so chilly. It's Mount Everest and it's really, really cold. Warm up your hands with me. Oh, I know. Let's dance it out to warm up our bodies. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, I'm ready. Let's buckle in and head up the mountain. Mika Point, here I come. It was cold, but I had a lot of fun. I saw so many polar bears at the top. And I earned a Mika point. And we got a Mika point. You know what else I earned? <gasps> Some hot cocoa. Ooh, nice and warm. Mmm. Now let's go see what other fun things we can do. Surprise! Here I am. <laughs> oh, check out these blocks. I want to stack them. Yellow and then blue. Oh, let's do another yellow and another blue. Whoa, cool pattern. A pattern is something that repeats itself. See, blue. Yellow, blue, yellow. Let's put another yellow one on top. Whoa, it's getting so high. Another blue at the very top. Whoa, Whoa I got it, cool. <laughs> Let's see if we can put another yellow one on top. Okay, here I go. <gasps> Whoa! Awesome! That was so 
much fun. Let's find another wall to climb. <gasps> Whoa! This wall is awesome. It looks like seven bouncy balls stacked on top of each other. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is going to be the most challenging climb yet. Challenging means it's going to take a little bit more effort than before, but I'm up for the challenge. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna get a Mika point for every ball I climb on. That's going to be a lot of Mika points. You ready? <laughs> Me too. All right, put our wheel in. Click. And release the key. Make a point. Here I come. Put in my key, release the wheel. <gasps> that was so much fun. It was challenging, but we made it all the way to the top. Great job! <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> wow, today was awesome. First, we stretched our bodies and warmed up. Then Bertha showed us how to put on a harness so we could safely climb our first wall. <gasps> we had hot cocoa on top of Mount Everest. Then we finished with a grand finale on the seven bouncy balls and earned lots of Mika points. You helped me earn this many Mika points today. <laughs> Whoa, we make such a great team. Well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Can you spell my name with me? Great! M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. Okay, see you later. Bye! Hey, it's me, Mika. Today, I'm at a very cool place called Lost World's Myth and Magic in Las Vegas, Nevada. <gasps> Whoa! That was a magical moment. Hmm. <laughs> Do you see those statues? Let's go check them out. <gasps> Wait, you're not a statue. <laughs> Hello, my lady. I am Sir Adam of the Kingdom of Lost Worlds. Hello, Sir Adam. I'm Mika. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. And Mika, I have a mystical quest. Can you please help me with it? Oh, yeah. The baby dragons of the kingdom have escaped. Can you please help us find them? Of course. Here is a scroll with your instructions. <gasps> Whoa. <laughs> okay, we have to find these baby dragons. There's a blue one, a green one, a purple, and a red dragon. Will you help me find them? Great. <laughs> Do I have everything I need for my mythical quest? All you need is your Lost World safety socks. Oh! And remember to follow the dragon footprints to help you find the babies. Great. Follow the dragon footprints. Okay, let's go. Thank you. You're welcome. <gasps> Whoa! Check out this castle. <laughs> there are lots of places for a baby dragon to hide here. Oh, we're going to find you, baby dragon. <gasps> Look at these trees. Whoa, they're so tall. Let's count how many trees there are. One, <laughs> two. Oh, and look, I see another forest. Check it out. This is a cylinder. <gasps> hey, you know what else is shaped like a cylinder? Yeah, tree trunks. <laughs> wow, this is a very enchanted forest. <laughs> and look, a bridge. Whoa. Okay, let's go over the bridge like a knight on a horse. Ready? Whoa. Do you see that hot scotch? <laughs> yeah, I have an idea. Let's hop on the orange numbers. Do you know which ones are the orange numbers? 
<laughs> yeah! Two and six. Okay, let's hop away. Yeah! Whoa, a boat. Let's get inside. I like sailing with my best friends, being brave and flying dragons. <laughs> Whoa! Okay, let's keep going. Look, a whole herd of horses. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna press the red button, see what happens next. Whoa, here we go. <laughs> And check it out! Do you see what I see? <laughs> yeah! Dragon footprints! Wow! Let's count how many there are. One, two, three! Three footprints! Hmm, let's look at our scroll. What does it say? <gasps> Follow the footprints to find where the baby dragon's lair is. Oh, <laughs> it must be that way. Let's go. <laughs> hey, there are more footprints. We must be getting closer. Whoa, I bet the baby dragon is in there. <gasps> Let's go for a swim and find our first baby dragon. Okay, ready? Splash! <laughs> okay, let's swim. <laughs> oh! Check it out! We found a baby dragon! <laughs> and it's blue, just like this ball pit. Awesome! We did it! Great job! Okay, baby dragon, let's go find your other friends. <laughs> This quest is getting so exciting. Let's keep finding baby dragons. Uh, hey, there's a dragon right there. No, but not the baby dragons we're looking for. But look at this. More cylinders. Ooh. This looks like a skyscraper. <laughs> I see you. Whoa, check this out over here. Blinds. Oh, and inner tubes too. Let's count the inner tubes. One, two, three. And they're so colorful. Do you know what these colors are? Yes, yellow and blue. <laughs> Whoa! And look! More dragon footprints! I wonder where they lead. I know! I'll get a tube and slide down. This is gonna be so fun! Here we go! Three, two, one, go! Woo! <laughs> that was so fun! <laughs> Hey, what's that? <gasps> Whoa! Uh -huh. I think we just found our next dragon. Hi, baby dragon. Look, we found the red dragon. Awesome job. Okay, let's go look for more of its friends. <gasps> Whoa, this room is so cool. Look, more dragon footprints. Yep, we must be headed in the right direction. Wow, check it out. Foxes. Hmm, I wonder if there are any dragons inside. <laughs> Let's count the boxes. One, two, three. Three boxes. <gasps> I know. Let's make a beat. Dragons, come out and play. We've been looking all day. Dragons, come out and play. Don't be afraid, it'll be okay. <laughs> Whoa, <gasps> let's head up this ramp. <laughs> wow, this 
whole room is purple. One of my favorite colors. <gasps> Let's ask this dragon for help. Excuse me, have you seen any baby dragons? No, okay, thanks anyway. <laughs> Maybe they're over here. Let's search far and wide. Hmm, dragons? Nope, let's keep exploring. Ooh, maybe over here. Hello, baby dragons, where are you? <laughs> Check it out, more footprints. Let's see where they lead. We found the purple dragon. <laughs> Three dragons found, one more to go. Whoa, an obstacle course. And it's in a forest. Let's pretend to be in a forest looking for our last dragon. Look, this is our first obstacle. Have to make it across the river. Okay, let's get in our boat. Whoa, we made it to land. And look, there's a big forest wall to get over. Whoa, hmm, how do I get on top? Oh, here we go. Yeah, we made it. Oh, there's some more water waves though. <laughs> Let's fly down, whoa. Check it out, some vines. Let's take a swing on these vines. Oh, let's keep going. Whoa, mm -hmm. whoa, check out these logs. Hmm, I wonder how we'll make it to the other side. Oh, I'll go under. I got it. Let's pretend to be squirrels in a forest. <laughs> Whoa, check out these rings. Ooh. <laughs> Whoa, this is a great forest adventure, friend. And look, I think I see dragon footprints ahead. Yeah, we found some more footprints. Okay, let's see if there's a dragon on the other side. Excuse me. <laughs> Whoa. <gasps> Excuse me. <laughs> oh, another mountain. Let's give it a climb. Climb, 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 climb. <laughs> hey. <gasps> Check it out. We found our last dragon. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's check our scroll to make sure we have all four dragons. Let's see. Mm-hmm, we have blue and purple and red and green. Great job, friends. We did it, we did it. We never, ever quit it. We did it. Great job. Sir Adam, we did it. We found all the baby dragons. Oh, wonderful. You have finally returned them and completed your magical quest, which has earned you the right to become a knight. Oh, whoa, did you hear that? We're knights now. <laughs> yeah. Five, six, seven, eight. It's time to celebrate. Woohoo! we did it. <laughs> Bye, Sir Adam. Bye, Knight Mika. Bye, baby dragon. <laughs> Wow, that was such a magical adventure. I had so much fun looking at those dragon footprints and finding all the colorful baby dragons. We played in a ball pit, went down a slide, and threw a night's nice obstacle course. <laughs> Great job. Well, that's the end of this video. But if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Can you spell my name with me? M-E-E. K-A-A. <laughs>
H. Nika. <laughs> okay, Knights. See you later. <laughs> hey, it's me, Nika. And today I'm at Cake Bash Studio in Lake Balboa, California. They have so many fun cakes to decorate here. And maybe I'll get to do some decorating of my own. Come on. Whoa, check out all these delicious treats. Hmm, I wonder what they all are. Oh, hey, look at this treat right here. That's called Tres Leches. Oh, and look, don't these look delicious? Those are cake pops. Oh, they kind of look like balloons. <laughs> Can you pretend to hold a balloon and float away? Ooh, wow. <laughs> oh, and check out this. Do you know the shape? That's right, it's a square. Hmm, do you know what fruit this is made out of? <laughs> yeah, it's a lemon bar made out of lemons. Whoa, so many delicious things here. Yum, look at these cakes. Oh, I really like how they're decorated. Look, do you know what kind of animal that is? <laughs> That's right, it's a bunny rabbit. Let's pretend to be bunny rabbits. Huff, 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 huff. <laughs> Whoa, it looks like maybe they had a little bit too much carrot cake. <laughs> oh, and look at this one. Oh, it looks lovely. Do you see the shapes on this cake? Do you know what it is? <laughs> yeah, they're hearts, just like this one. <laughs> All right, I'm supposed to be decorating cakes too. Oh, I see someone over there. Maybe they can help me decorate a cake like this one. Come on, let's go. Hey, I'm Mika, nice to meet you. Hi, nice to meet you. My name is Moretis, how can I assist you? Moretis, I would love to decorate a cake. Oh, you came to the perfect place. <laughs> That's what we do. So any idea you may have, we can turn it into a cake. Hmm, I'm not sure how I want to decorate my cake yet. Mm, well, we have plenty of inspiration. So Ooh. take some time to look around and I'll meet you in the back so we can get started. Great. All right. <laughs> okay, let's take a look. Whoa, look at all these cakes. Hmm. They're all different sizes and they're decorated differently too. Time to get some inspiration. Inspiration is when you're getting ideas that make you want to create. <laughs> Let's check out these cakes. <gasps> Whoa, look, a unicorn cake with a beautiful rainbow on it. <laughs> so colorful. And check it out. Wow, this is called fondant and you can use it to create all kinds of different shapes on cakes like clouds and flowers and different shapes. <laughs> Uh-oh, it looks like rain. Oh, showers. <laughs> Let me get my umbrella. <laughs> so cute. Did you know that you can't have a rainbow without rain? Uh-huh, that's right. And look over here. These cakes, they all have different toppers. This is called a topper because it's at the top of the cake. Oh, and there's a rabbit topper and a topper with a word. Do you know what this says? <laughs> it says love. Let's spell it. L-O-V-E, -E, love. <laughs> oh, and check it out. The bunny rabbit has a little heart nose. <laughs> oh, I got an idea. Let's turn on this radio and have a 10 second dance party. Ready? Blue, 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 blue. I love cake, cake is great. I love cake, cause it makes me wanna wiggle and shake. <laughs> okay, I feel all inspired and I'm ready to decorate. Let's go. <laughs> Hello again. Oh, hi Mika. Did you get any inspiration? Yes, I have a lot of great ideas. Awesome, so here we're gonna get some embellishments that you can add to your cake. And after that, you're gonna meet me at the cake decorating station, okay? Great. <laughs> but first, let's grab your apron. Whoa! Baker and Mika. Thank you. <laughs> cool, I have an apron. I'm Baker Mika, ready to decorate. <laughs> first, let me tie my apron up. Check out all these embellishments. 
Embellishments are little details you can add to a cake. Whoa, and look, there are so many different types of colors and shapes. Hmm, I'd like to put this on my cake. <laughs> Do you know what these are? <laughs> yeah, bananas. Mmm, they're yellow, just like one of my favorite colors. Okay, oh, speaking of favorite colors, purple, <laughs> yeah, my other favorite color. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, I should get out some embellishments of Blippi's favorite colors. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I need blue and orange. Oh, check it out. Blue and orange. What do we have here? <gasps> some pumpkins. Oh, and lots of blue sprinkles. Do you hear that? That's such a cool sound. It's like a maraca. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I like to decorate cakes. <laughs> so cool. Okay, let's grab some more. Hmm. Oh, look at this. Kind of look like mermaid tails. Cool. I'd like some of those, please. And check it out. These are metallic. <laughs> Some of those, and hmm, oh, look. This kind of looks like snow. <laughs> That's pretty neat too. I just washed my hands, I have my embellishments, and I'm ready to start. Awesome, so now we're gonna work in some fondant. Okay. Okay, so we can create some decorations for the cake. Great. You're gonna take the amount of fondant you wanna use, Roll it so you can smooth it out. Okay. And then you're gonna roll. Roll it? Yes. It's kinda like a ball. Hey, I could even juggle with these. <laughs> there you go, your rolling Ooh, pin. Ooh, my rolling pin. Now I'm gonna roll it out. So it's nice and smooth and flat. Yeah, one smooth Ooh. motion. <laughs> Thank you. It's kind of like clay. Okay. All right, you're ready. So now you're gonna choose your cutter. Huh, I'd like to choose this flower. You Place gonna that there. press it and wiggle. Press and wiggle. Now can I pull away this extra yes. fondant? Okay, let's pull this part away. Check it out, a beautiful flower. Ooh, maybe it's a daisy, maybe it's a sunflower or a rose. Great, we'll put it right there. Can I make one out of blue fondant now? Of course. So now, roll it. Roll it up just like a ball. Move it out. What's this? Cornstarch. This helps you for, it to, for the fondant to not stick to the surface. Oh, okay. Good to know. Now you're ready to roll. Ready to roll. <laughs> Ooh, I like this color blue. How's that? All right, I think that's good. Okay, so now which shape are you gonna use? Hmm, let's do a car. <laughs> awesome. Now remember, press and wiggle, wiggle. Press and wiggle. Great! Oh, that looks awesome! Oh, I just remembered! I have some cutters in my jam pack. Oh, awesome. Let's do those. I have a bow tie for my best friend, Blippi. <laughs> and, oh, a T-Rex! Roar! Can you roar with me like a T-Rex? Roar! You too. <laughs> okay, I want to do the T-Rex next. All right, there you go. <laughs> A blue T-Rex. That is funny. Ooh. Hello, T-Rex. You can see his bones and everything. All right. Roar. 
That looks great. Could be a bow tie or a hair bow. Okay, I'd like to finish with this truck. Honk, honk. Edge this out, edge this out. <laughs> there you go. And here, we can use that. Oh, yeah. Things to see it didn't cut through completely. You can cut it out. Perfect. There. there you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, let's wheel you over, truck. Honk, honk, honk. All right, so now that we're done with fondant, we're gonna be working with frosting. This is our American buttercream, and we have our food coloring. These are primary colors. Yellow, red, and blue. When you mix certain primary colors, you make secondary colors, like purple and orange. Oh, I've got it. I'd like to make purple and orange. All right, so let's do it. Okay, let's scoop in our frosting. All right, so in order to make orange, I'd like to mix yellow and red. Perfect. Now to make purple, I will mix red and blue. There we go. Okay. Time to stir. Wow! It's turning orange. It's turning purple. <laughs> Great. That looks delicious. All right, so here's your cake. Now you have everything you need so that you can make your creation. If you need anything else, just let me know. I'll be in the back. Thank you. All right, you're very welcome. Bye, Marini. Bye, nice to meet you. <laughs> Okay, let's start to decorate. Woo, I'm excited. Okay, gonna put on my truck. Let's put on our car next. Oh, and look at this. It's a turntable. Oh, spin, spin, spin. Oh, I wanna put my flower on top. Hmm, where should my T-Rex go? Oh, here's a great spot for it. Hmm, I'll save my bow tie for later. Now I'm ready to do some frosting. Oh, look at that, it's so pretty. Wow, three little ringlets. Let's do a little fourth one. Okay, let's put on some embellishments. Bananas! Open this up. Whoa, check it out. Sprinkle these on top. Wow! Okay, let me put on the bow. <laughs> check it out. We did it. We did it. We never ever quit it. We did it. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Awesome. We decorated a cake. <gasps> Whoa. Decorating cakes is fun and creative too. First, we got inspiration. Then we cut shapes into the fondant and then we frosted our friendship cake. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Can you spell my name with me? <laughs> M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. Okay, friend, I'll see ya later. Hey, it's me, Mika. And today, I'm at the El Sereno Community Garden in Los Angeles, California. Here, people come together from the community to practice gardening together. <laughs> oh, I bought some food scraps from home to compost. Have you ever composted before? <laughs> That's sort of like when you recycle to protect our earth. Mm hmm And the best part, we get to go digging in the dirt. Ready? Come on, let's go! Whoa! Look at these colorful signs. Oh! They're greetings in different languages, welcoming us to the garden. Aw, oh, thank you, signs. It's a pleasure to be here. Wow, check.
check out all these plants. <laughs> there are too many to even count. And look, they're all in the dirt. That's where they get their nutrients, from the soil. Do you know what other nutrients plants need to grow? <gasps> That's right, sunlight and <sighs> fresh air and lots of water. You can water them yourself, or sometimes when it rains, they get plenty of water so you don't have to. <laughs> oh, plants need lots of space to grow too. <gasps> oh, this garden looks very spacious which means there's plenty of space for plants to grow. <laughs> okay, friends, let's keep exploring. Hey, I'm Mika, nice to meet ya. Hi, Mika, I'm Erica. Welcome to the El Sereno Community Garden in Otsunga, the place of the roses. Nice. In the Tangba language, can you say Otsunga? Otsunga. Nice. <laughs> uh, are you here to compost? Yes, I am. Perfect. I have my eggshells and my avocado and my banana peels. Excellent. <laughs> uh, let me show you Great. Uh, what to do. And on the LA compost method of uh, composting, there's three boxes. You uh -huh. add. Uh, your food scraps here, and then you put a layer of browns, uh, which is dry leaves or mulch, mm -hmm. on top of your kitchen scraps, okay. which are your greens. Mm -hmm. Even though the banana's not green. <laughs> but, no, those but, are yellow. <laughs> <laughs> and so you put greens and browns, greens and browns, and you make sure the brown layer stays on top. Mm -hmm. And then once it gets filled, you move it to the next one, and then you shift it and add water, and then you move it to the next one, and then you shift it, and you add, add water. water. <laughs> and then at the end, it looks like this. Whoa, check it out. So the compost pile, when it's ready to sift, mm -hmm. you look, if you look inside, there's bugs and worms and oh. roly polies. Oh, yes. And everywhere. What do the bugs do? They decompose the soil, the matter, the brown matter, oh. and make it into fertile soil. Mm, decomposing means you break something down. So once it's finished breaking down, uh -huh. we take a handful and we bring it to the sifter. And then the, the sifter, you take out the big brown things that don't fill through the holes. Mm -hmm. And then you keep the worms. If you find any worms, uh -huh. you uh, put them back. Oh, put them back. Hello, Because worm. they're our friends. <laughs> and then we put them back in the soil so they can continue making soil. And the, the one that's sifted that goes through is ready to plant to plant new plants. Oh, awesome. I'm gonna go plant on the other side of the garden. You wanna join me later when you're finished composting? Sure. I'll see you later. Bye. <laughs> okay, let's get started. Okay, here I go. Our earth is a wonderful host. I love to help her through compost. We'll compost this and we'll compost that with some food and plant scraps. Whoa, awesome. Okay, let's head over to this big pile of dirt. Scoop up some dirt and maybe some worms too. Okay, three, two, one, sift off. Sift, sift, sift. Oh, check out these worms. Did you know earthworms have taste buds all over their bodies? <laughs> Okay. Wow. Let's go find Erica to see if she needs help planting. <gasps> I've got it. Let's wiggle over like a worm. Ready, worms? Here we go. Wiggle, wiggle, squish, squish. Hi, Erica. Hi, Mika. <laughs> what are you planting? I'm planting some hummingbird sage, some narrow leaf milkweed, and some lettuce. Oh, I'd like to help. Yes. Did you bring the compost? Oh, yes. It's right here. Perfect. You're going to need it. <laughs> so you make a hole, but the size of the roots and the size of your fist, you take the plant out of the pot and be careful with the roots. Look at that. Oh, look at all those roots. And you plant them nice and gentle in the hole, and then you give a nice warm hug with the compost. There we go, little plant. 
These are for the pollinators. Oh, I know what that is. That's when certain animals fly from plant to plant. The pollen gets on their body, then they fly to the other plant, and it helps the plants grow. Do you know what kind of animals are pollinators? That's right. Buzz, buzz, buzz. <laughs> Bees and hummingbirds and butterflies and bats too. That's right. And you want to know what else is a pollinator? I'll give you a hint. They're red and black. Can you guess what a pollinator is? Ladybug? That's right, look, there's one right here. Oh, look at that ladybug. <laughs> so sweet. <laughs> Did you know ladybugs are male as well? Mm -hmm. Despite the name, they're male and female. In you go. Thank you. How about here? Now that I'm done planting, I'd like to try something else. Oh, can we harvest? Yes, you can. You can harvest whatever is ready and ripe. Ready and ripe, got it. <laughs> okay, let's go. Oh, I have a plan. Let's gather up some fruits and vegetables for a salad. Oh, these would be great. Check it out. These are Filipino limes. They're ready when they're yellow instead of green. <laughs> okay, lime, let's go. Here we go. We have two limes. <laughs> Ooh, flowers. Wow, look at this tree. Wonder what it is. Oh, I know. It's guava. <laughs> you can tell a fruit is ripe if it falls to the ground. That means we're ready. <laughs> Get some guava for our salad. Mmm, that smells good. Okay, let's find some more food for our salad. Yum! Cocoa plum. Let's pick one for our salad. <laughs> Look! It's so little. And it's one of my favorite colors, purple. <laughs> Check it out over here. Oh, I see another fruit. <laughs> Can you guess what it is? That's right, it's a watermelon. Wow, I've never seen one this small before. This will be delicious in my salad. Ooh, an orange tree. But these oranges aren't quite ready. You know how I know? <laughs> yeah, they're still green. Not ripe yet. Okay, oranges, I'll see you later when you're ready. <gasps> Look! <laughs> a really big cactus. This can go into a salad, but no thank you, cacti. I think I'll move on. Yummy! Strawberries! Should we put strawberries in our salad? <laughs> yeah! One strawberry, two strawberries. Hmm. Oh, check it out! Kale! I would like some of this for my salad, too. <laughs> I know. Let's make a salad for Erica to thank her for showing us this lovely garden. Here we go. Hello, Erica. Hi, Mika. We made you a delicious salad. Yummy, what's in it? We have watermelon and guava and strawberry and kale. Yummy, I'm gonna <laughs> have it for lunch. <laughs> Mika, can you help me with one more thing? Yes, I'm happy to help. I need to spread seeds out uh, so we can uh, Harvest some flowers. Oh. This is Arroyo Lupine. It's beautiful purple bloom. Mm. Oh, that's one of my favorite colors. Now, when we spread the seeds, we have to sing to them, twinkle, twinkle, little star, because we believe the seeds are the stars of the earth. Oh. Can you help me? Yes. Perfect. Roll out your hand. I'm going to give you some seeds. Thank you. And we'll get seeds and we'll start singing and wishing them love. You ready? Yes. Twinkle, twinkle, little 
star how i wonder what you are up above the world so high like a diamond in the sky twinkle twinkle little star how i wonder what you are Oh, that was Thank so you, fun. Thank you, Mika. Thank you. Yes, you're Come so back welcome. anytime. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. 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 That was awesome. We did a great job composting with those worms, planting in a garden, and harvesting some yummy fruit and vegetables for a salad. What a great, beautiful day. I hope you had fun, too. <laughs> Well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Can you spell my name with me? <laughs> M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. <laughs> okay, friend. See you later. Bye-bye. Hi, it's me, Mika. And today we're at Nailed It DIY Studio in Orlando, Florida. DIY means do it yourself. And today we're gonna build and make art. Oh, I can't wait, come on. Oh, look at all of this stuff. These are all signs that people have made and that's what I get to make today. Oh, look, this box says meow. Oh, I wonder if it's something that you could put cat treats in or cat food. Oh, and look at this one. <laughs> All guests must be approved by the dog. <laughs> That's really funny. <laughs> oh, I see some pink colors down here. Let's see how many colors they have. A lot. <laughs> oh, I wonder if they have two of my favorite colors. Do you know what they are? <laughs> oh, they're purple and Yellow. And they're right next to my best friend Blippi's favorite colors. Blue and orange. Ha, huh, that's cool. Wow, these are all the different wood pieces that you can use to make art. Oh, look at this one. It's pretty small. You can have a small sign that says, welcome. <laughs> or, whoa, look at this. This giant rectangle could make a really cool sign and it could hold a lot of words. Maybe it could say something like, welcome friends, come on inside for snacks and games and good times. We love our friends, welcome. <laughs> and here's a square. One, two, three, four even sides. And there's bigger squares up there. Hmm. Oh, cool, a circle, a small circle and a really big circle. Hmm, which one should I choose? Uh, I think I like this one, the medium stack square. That's number 07. We have to remember that, 07. Okay, come on. Oh, hi Margie. Oh, hi Mika. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm pretty good. I'm excited to make art today. Awesome. So did you pick a size? Yes, number 07. Perfect. And did you want to add anything to that? Oh, um, oh, maybe that silver hook right there. Okay. Oh, and can I also have that bow tie? For my best friend. <laughs> Absolutely. So we have your station set up over here. You ready to get started? Yeah, let's do it. All right, let's go. All right, let's go. Okay, we have everything we need. We have lots of cool paint, two of my favorite colors, purple and yellow. Oh, well, this one's called dandelion. Fancy. And we have pearl and latte. We also have a paint roller. Easily put on the paint. And we have some sponges. We have silver hooks. And we have our crown stapler, our power stapler, and the stacked wood piece that I picked out. See, it's actually four little pieces. And when they're stacked together, it makes one beautiful square. <laughs> and what are these for? 
So these are actually to hold the wood stack pieces together. Oh, okay, makes sense. So what's the first thing we need to do? So your first step is to put a line of glue on each one and then flip them over. Okay, I think I can do that. Okay. Now what? So we have these lines here and those oh, yeah. are actually where you are going to put the staples. Oh, so these lines, it's like a little guide. Exactly. So first we are gonna put our safety glasses oh, on. Oh, right. If we're gonna use a power tool, we need to be nice and safe. And remember, only use a power stapler if you are with a grown-up. Whoa, you're really good at that. <laughs> Think you can do that? Yeah! Alright. So I'm gonna follow the black lines. That's my guide. Alright, good teamwork. You are a pro. Oh, you did thank good. you. <laughs> Alright, so oh. now you're gonna flip it over. And there you have it. Look at this perfect square. What's the next step? So the next step is we're gonna take it to the sanding station where you're gonna make it smooth. Ooh, let's make it smooth, <laughs> come on. So this is the sander. Okay. What you're gonna do is put one hand here, one hand under here. Mm -hmm. There is a power button that you wanna push. Okay. Once it's on, you are gonna run it over the whole thing until it's as smooth as a piece of paper. Oh, all right. Well, why do you want it super smooth? It helps the paint stick to the wood. Oh, okay, so let's make this Super smooth, time to sand. So we are going to choose your base color. So we're gonna look at oh. your stencil. <gasps> yes, I can't wait to see. All right, so this is the stencil we have for you. Wow, look at this. An ice cream cone, one of my favorite sweet treats. And that's my name and my headband. Oh, and this is gonna be my bag. And this other stencil will help make it really look like my bag. Oh, I love it. Okay, so for the base, um, I'm thinking purple. Yes, yeah. that is a good color. Okay, so I can just put it everywhere? Yep, so you're just gonna squeeze that over the top of the wood. Okay. Okay, and I get to use this really fun paint roller to spread it all over the wood. So you're gonna paint the top and then all of the sides. All right, now we just wait for it to dry? Actually, we have a way to dry it quicker. Oh, how? So we are going to use this blow dryer. <laughs> You've probably seen a blow dryer before. It's to dry your hair. So there is that. You are gonna blow dry it on the base setting. Okay. <laughs> cool. Is it ready? Ready to go. Okay, turn it to base. And let's dry! Okay, you're dry. What? Okay, now what? Oh, it is dry. Cool. So now what you wanna do is sand it until it's smooth again so that we can put the stencil on. Okay. This time I'm gonna give you a piece of sandpaper as well so you can sand over the top of it. Nice. Oh, cool! It's purple sandpaper and it's really rough. But this rough piece of paper will make this smooth. Hey, those are opposites, rough and smooth. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Bobby pin. <laughs> All right, like this. So you're gonna go back and forth over the whole thing, just like that. Yes, perfect. Okay. All right, so your board is nice and smooth. We are ready for the stencil. Yes, all, all right. right. So the stencil has a couple of layers. We are going to peel the white layer off first. Oh, it's like a giant sticker. Yes. All right. So I'm gonna hand you one side. Okay. And we are gonna center it on your board together. 
I think that looks good. What do you think? I think it's pretty good, yeah. Okay, so we're just gonna stick this on. Okay. I'm gonna give you a squeegee. A squeegee? Yes. I know what that is. This is your squeegee. Yeah. What you wanna do is run it over the whole thing. And you see how it turns a little bit darker? Mm-hmm. That's how you know it's really stuck to the wood. Cool, and this is gonna push all the bubbles yeah. out. Yes. Okay. Bye, bubbles. So now that it's all stuck to the wood, what I want you to do is peel this top layer off. Okay. We're actually gonna start from over here. Ah. Uh -huh. And pull down towards you, slow and low. Slow and low, my favorite way to go. Oh wait, oh, come on, sticker. Well, I did it. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that looks cool already. <laughs> all right, so now we're ready to paint. Yes, all right. So, hmm, I'm gonna start with the ice cream cone and I'm going to use pearl. That way it would look like vanilla, one of my favorite flavors. So what you wanna do is dip the wide end of the sponge, that end of the sponge, into the paint. Okay. Take a look at it. Does it look wet? Yep. That's too much paint. Oh no. So what you wanna do is dab it off and you can use the paper or you can use the plate. Okay, I'll dab on the plate there. All right, look at it now. Does it look wet? Nope. You're good to go. So now you're gonna just dab up and down. Okay. For the whole thing. Like this. And is it okay if it gets on the blue part? Yes, it is. Okay. It's a stencil, so that part is gonna come off. All right. So let's cover this ice cream cone. Okie doke. Perfect, so now you can pour your next color for the cone. Ooh, and the cone, I'm going to make that a latte. You look like a sugar cone. I'm gonna be careful because I don't want it to get on the top of the ice cream cone. But even if it does, we can always fix it. Oh, you know what? I like your attitude, Margie. Okay, that cone's looking pretty tasty. Yes, it is. All right. So what color did you want to paint your name? Oh, my name, I want it to be yellow. Yes, I love it. All right, so let's go ahead and pour the yellow. Okay. So yellow there, wide end, dab, dab, dab. You got it. Oh yeah, now I'm feeling like a pro over here. Let's see, my headband is yellow. So I'll just use the same yellow. <gasps> Margie! What happened? I need two more colors for my bag. You're right. Do you know what colors are on my bag? Yep, blue and orange. All right, so go ahead and pick the blue and orange that you want. Okay. Down there. Oh. This is good, and oh, this. Ooh. Yeah, this will look cool. Okay, do we need the other stencil yet or no? Not yet. So okay. what we're gonna do with this is once we peel this up, we'll put this one on so it really makes it look like your back. Awesome. So I should start with this one, I think. Dab, 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 and get the whole bag. Perfect. All right, so take a look at it. Do you like it like that, or do you want to do another coat? Oh, uh, I think I like it like that. Perfect. So we are going to give this one good blow dry again. Okay. And then we're ready to peel. All right, let's do it. So this time you are going to blow dry on the stencil setting, and just be careful, it is powerful. We don't want everything flying away. Okay, I'll be careful. <laughs> Here we go. That is powerful. <laughs> it's dry. So now it is reveal time. Oh, okay. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. So we're gonna turn it this way because we wanna peel the stencil against the grain. Oh, okay. Do you know what wood grain is? Uh, you can explain it. Okay. <laughs> so the wood grain are the lines that you see in the Oh, line. that's right, yeah. 
So if the if the lines of the wood are going this way, mm -hmm. we want to peel this way. Oh, gotcha. Against the grain. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. So you're going to start with one corner and then peel down towards you. Towards this corner or each down towards you. So, yes. All right. Let's see how it looks. Whoa! Uh oh, it's a little piece That's stuck. That's okay. It can rip. It can tear. That's totally fine. Oop, there we go. Oop. Whoa! That looks so cool. How good you did! Wow! Check it out. So now we are ready to put the other part of your bag on. Oh, that's right. We have another stencil. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna peel the backing off and we will center it together. Okay. You good? Looks good to me. Okay. All right, ready? Let's commit. Oh, we did it. <laughs> You're ready for your paint. All right, let's get the orange on there. That looks pretty good. Okay, do you remember what comes next? We have to dry it. Yes, okay. Okay, now what setting should I put so it on? So you're gonna be on the stencil setting. Makes sense. Here we go. It's powerful. There you go. Woo! Everything's about to fly. I know. <laughs> okay, so do you remember the wood lines? Oh yes, you wanna go against the grain. Yes. So we wanna go this way? Correct. Okay. There's my bag. <gasps> it looks so good. Oh, this is so, so cool. So now I just need two hooks because I wanna be able to hang my headband and my bag. <laughs> All right, so we have the hooks right here. Okay. I'm gonna have you pick two hooks out of there. Yep, two hooks, Whoop. Okay, we have one, two. So we are going to be using a power tool again. Okay, so, so we need our safety glasses. You know it, safety first. So I will drill the little holes to get the hook started and then you'll screw the hooks in. Sounds good. Let's put this one right here. Okay. You're ready All for the right. hooks. Two holes, and here we go. So I can just twist them in, right? Correct. Almost there. There we go. <gasps> it's finished. <laughs> wow, look at the sign. I love it so much. Thank you, Margie, for all your help in helping me make this awesome Mika sign. You are so welcome. <laughs> well, I guess I'll see you around. Yeah, sounds good. We'll all see right. you next time. All right, have a good one. Thanks Bye. again. You're Bye. welcome. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wasn't that so fun making this really cool Mika sign? <laughs> Today, I got to build a sign, sand it, and paint it. Art is so much fun. <laughs> Thanks for playing with me. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool, oh, we can spell it right here on the sign. Ready? M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. <laughs> well, we'll see you next time, bye. Come on everyone, let's make learning fun. to learn.